Lunge. How did you do that? It literally just hit one and you just <laughs> swore. Nice. You're like a, you, you got like a spy cam in here or something. You have, haven't you? <laughs> Thing never reveals a secret. Thing? Just hints heavily towards. <laughs> <laughs> I just know the appropriate time for certain types of comments. That's funny. So, we got back. I guess we need to heal and do resting. Do you have any spells left, things, sir? Uh, let's see. What do I have left? Are you damaged, Lens? Um, I don't seem to be. You might not have been, actually. Or we may have healed you before we left. I don't like you. Oh, apparently seven damage to be healed, maybe. Mm. I have seven, too. I have... Oh, where did I tell you that? It's the first game after Christmas and New Year. Yes. Yeah. Oh, happy, happy New Year, everybody. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Ah. I guess I've got two level ones left. Heal us, thanks to heal us. Let's see if I got my macro updated for that. Uh, let's see. I guess uh, Lindsay. Do you not have your headphones on, love? Nope. How are you doing this? Because oh. I'm using the magic of the air. Wow. Yeah, the magic of vibrations. You don't thing. have to have your headphones in. You seem fine. I'm not saying you can hear anything. I was just observing you didn't have them on. Well, it's much more comfortable not to have them on. It's so. fine. Your, your audio is fine. It always was. And then you were like, no, you have to do it properly and put them on. Well, it's because I've got my door shut. It's not, there's no echo. Uh, that's, oh, you can't hear me, you mean. We can't hear you, and I can't hear the dog. <laughs> it's lovely. Although I can still hear the dog mooching around like a miserable. Uh, I can hear her. I'm gonna go catch her. Hang on. So both you and Hal need a cure, basically. Yeah. Okay. We'll do Lindsay. Eight points. Awesome. And, and what the hell's his name? Mag Nearmore. Nearmore, yeah. The shiny one. Three points. He'll love that. He is moderately tarnished. <laughs> It'll all buff out. <laughs> Yes. So last time you um, assaulted the piling that contained many, many tower girls with the aid of Natalia and Brunsk. 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 Ah. Brunsk, strongest there is. <laughs> uh, that would be Ruby. Um, that would be. Select some fries. Uh, you can have them. They're cold. Well, I don't want cold fries. Fries. So you have found some um, roasted garlic in there too. Oh, uh, I've brought home lots of nice things for you. You're amazingly nice. Well, oh, did did you call them fries? Yes, because that's they what are they fries. are. They're not chips, dude. They're not chips. <laughs> they well, are sweet potato fries. fries. Oh, sweet potato fries, ooh. Oh. Don't don't make the assumption that a chip is a fry, for it is not. The chip is a chip. The yeah. fry is an entirely different animal. I went to Cafe Express for lunch. I'm confused now. Fries are not chips. Chips are not fries. Okay, what about the biscuit and cookie thing? Cookie's a type of biscuit. <laughs> yeah. And a muffin? That's a breakfast thing. And a vag badger? What the hell? That's, that's a thing that comes out of your head. <laughs> a small oviparous mammal that uh, makes a burrow with a canopy of muff hair. Did you know it's National Hat Day today? <laughs> no, I that's did not. Heard. It is. That Are was an amaz am amazingly eloquent serve. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? I'm, uh, wearing, I'm wearing my, my, my headband. It's like a hat. I could put my hood up. I don't. It's, not, it's not the done thing to really wear a hat in the house, so. The, the only hat I have is that Santa one 
and that would make my ears warm. I have lots of hats in this room now, though, because I've been decorating my walls with um, hats. So I could, at any point, put a different hat on. <laughs> but I, have to, I have to say, I've just noticed Vecna's looking particularly moody this evening. Yeah. <laughs> Does he need a hat? He's got one on, actually. He's got the Christmas hat on, because I never removed it. <laughs> Back in his corner of gloom. Mm-hmm. Uh... Anyway, so so I gave you a three points hat back, uh, Naramar. Is that it, really? Yeah. Three. That's the best you could muster. I'm appalled. I did better for uh, Misaki. Of course you did. <laughs> well, hang on, that doesn't mean I'm eleven down. You're eleven down? Yeah. I'm just looking at how I'm recording my wounds. I have a two crossed out and then an eleven, which I'm guessing meaning I'm take I'm c taking wounds taken rather than um, wounds left. So uh, I'm actually down to eight wounds right now. No, yes. yes. Heal me. I, I, I think he's done. That's all the heals he has left. I, I did take a pretty solid beating in that last fight again. Yes, yeah, I, I was thinking you, guys, you guys have to be pretty. Hurt to have retreated at the end, I think. And then we just ran out of stuff, and there was nowhere obviously secure to stop. And well, it, was, it was basically you hit the confrontation with most of them, and you kind of figured, okay, after this, there's probably only um, lieutenants and captains and boss type people left. They might well, hit harder. I, I think we also thought there's nowhere with a door we can hold up for a few hours. Yeah. Yes. It was all just like one long corridor through the thing, so there's nowhere we could just stop. Yes. So, mm. um, you've returned, spent some healing. Anything else you were doing on this day, or are you just going to rest up and head back into the crow? Read up on those Thessalonian books, and besides, you know, rest up. Rest up. Thessalon are idiots. Why, there are seven rune lords. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's seven virtues. I mean, sins. I mean, schools of magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So you, so you go get to some light reading, which I don't know, since you're the charismatic lore master, if you actually read it or if you have, mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you, do you just find a nice looking lady and have her read it to you instead? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what those nice looking ladies like to do. <laughs> read yeah, dust I'll read that for you. Read oh. dust your books to dodge your old man. Wait, I gotta teach you to read <laughs> first. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I'm down to ten wounds, but I'm good. I'll be fine. Down to ten wounds? Oh, wow. Mm. I have ten hit points remaining, assuming that eleven was genuine. And I think Brunsk was paid for the day. Yeah, I think so. He has a he has a nice pile of gold on a sheet. So he's heading <laughs> on to the hotel somewhere. He's going for sexy time. Yes, drinky time. Sexy time. Likes the ladies. I have two potions of cure light. Is it? I think it's worth me drinking one now. Or I can hit you with a cure light in the morning and no, save let the me, potion let me, you from it. Let me drink the potion. That saves your spell slot. All right. Down the hatch. All right, cure light. Seven. That's good. That's better. I'm down one hit point. There we go. That was worth it. Why right. you can heal that naturally? Exactly. I should have drunk it before before I rested. Cha. Oh, I would have recovered that when I rested. Ah, well, I'm healed. Na na. I'm healed. Let us go. All right. So you've waken up on a nice new Magnamar day. Uh, did anyone? Um, just a reminder. Did anyone want to visit the monuments? I do have a complete. Oh list yeah, I forgot about the monuments. Yeah. What do we got uh, as options here? So, we have the Battle of Charda, 
at Beacons Point, which is practicing weapon play. Uh, the is, that in, is that including unarmed combat? Yes, yes. You could, I suppose, exercise in front of it or do your um, katas. Uh huh. There is Cenotaph, Capital District. You pray in Mourner's Plaza at Statue. Um, I'm, again, some of these are from books I haven't quite read on, so I'm not entirely sure. Is it, sure is it known what these things do? Um, yes, but not in a gamey sense. That yeah. makes sense. I, I, I don't think... I think I was having you guys experiment to find yeah. out what they do. So we, right. found the one, we found the one that gave you a plus for uh, aberrations and a one that gave a plus on fire sp DC spell on DC. Fire. What I can give you is the name, location, the act, and the check associated with the act. Okay, that's a good idea. So basically we know where it is, what it looks like, and what we need to do in front of it. Yes. And yeah. definitely... you keep notes for this one? I will, baby, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm to the bathroom. So, Cenoflex or whatever? Cenotaph. Cenotaph? Um, Indros Kol Vydrak. Vyd yeah. Uh, he's one of the founders of Vagmar's statue of him. I know that one. Uh, the act is reciting the poem Upon a Serpent's Grave in Aquin. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm, sure, okay. I'm sure there's a guy selling phonetic Aquin poems right next to it. <laughs> Uh, as I recall, that's basically a statue of him as he fought one of the sea serpents that attacked Magnamar and its founding or something like that. Um, Eyes of the Hawk in Dockway. The act is study complex carvings, which is a perception check. Lindsay might like that one. Uh, as I recall, this was one of the first books. This was of the twin brothers who were killing um, spider creatures. Again, another thing that happened in Magnamar. Hmm. Uh, the fifth wind. Observe patterns and watch wind socks. A survival check. Our Lady of Blessed Waters. Prayer to the Spirit of the Seer Spring. I should really look into what these are. Yeah, it'd be great, right? <laughs> That's a knowledge religion. Founder's Honor, which is another statue of Indras Kalvaidrak. Place an offering of fruit or flowers at foot of statue and study. A diplomacy check. Uh, the Mapstone Monument. You meditate at the monument. Knowledge local. The Selwynvian Charge. I have no idea what that is. Again, you meditate in the shade of the monument. Knowledge nature. Founder's Flame. This is the one you know of. Uh, plus one DCs to the fire spells you cast. Spellcraft check. Uh, the Guardians, who meditate below the arch, Knowledge Arcana, and the Mistress of Angels. Again, another meditation thing in Knowledge Religion. Huh. That's two Knowledge Religion. Um, yes. Actually, there's three Knowledge Religion. The Cenotaph is Knowledge Religion, too. Huh. There doesn't seem to be many helping you smack stuff in the face. They all seem kind of a bit, a bit thinky. For your, average, know, for your average low intelligence monk who has very few skills, I don't think I'm getting many benefits from any of these. Ballage, a battle of Charda is an intimidate check, and it is practicing weapon play. I do not have intimidate. You can do it untrained. So you're you're a charisma sink. Yes, I am. I'm here sucking away your charismas. But you are you are a monk. You do meditate. I do. This is true. I'm just bad at it, apparently. <laughs> I am pretty good with uh, religion and arcana. Maybe Lindsay wants to take a crack at the perception one. Where is Lindsay? She was going to the bathroom. Ah. Why don't I? You said there was one that I can exercise in front of. Weapon play, yeah. What is the, what? What is the role required for that? Intimidate. Intimidate. God damn it. There is Intimidate, Knowledge Religion, Perform, Act, Oratory, or Sing, Perception, Survival, Another Religion, Diplomacy, Diplomacy local, local Nature, Spellcraft, Arcana, Religion. 
I'm going to try the survival one. All right, you approach the fifth win. Let's I'm, watch, I'm watching wind socks, aren't I? Uh, let's see if I can find it, if it's in one of the books I have here. You probably, it's probably in, like, Magnum R, City of Monuments, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, that's probably where all these are, too, but they're also in the back of, the, of each module. But I don't have all of them I yet. I don't have the Magnum R book. I don't have the Magnum R book. I don't either, because that's, you know, um, Jamie nope. stuff. The Fifth Wind is either, is apparently in the sixth book, which I don't have on me. Woo! So, so it's so some sort of windsock thingy. Nice. Do you know what it does? I know what it does. So, shall I make a roll? Uh, you may. You I'll, I'll watch some windsocks and stuff. All right. 24. Excellent. You notice that the wind moves in certain patterns. Ah. You get a plus two morale bonus on survival checks for the next 24 hours. <laughs> and, and you are prevented from seasickness for any voyage started during this duration. Mm. <laughs> oh, how really useful. Thank you. So should I try the one of the knowledge religion ones or maybe the knowledge arcana? You're the knowledge boy, so pick something, dude. You're you're the one that I can actually do this multiple times a week. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the requirement is you've got to have was it charisma based? It's once per week yes. or once per charisma modifier if you have a positive charisma modifier. Right. I, I'm definitely once per week. I can do it four times a week. Nice. But you can only have one active at once, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's see, what was the Arcana one? Uh, Knowledge Arcana was the Guardians, which was meditating below the arch. I did have that one I saw somewhere. Hey, lovely. Hello. She's in here with me. Perception, did you say? Uh, I've just meditated at uh, on some wind. And no. apparently I get a plus two morale bonus to survival, and I won't get seasick for a day. Phew. Nope. Actually, you actually, if I, if I set off on a sea voyage within this day, I won't get seasick. Yes. Awesome. So, the twins uh, is just within one of the town gates. Is one of the city's largest monuments. They're 200 foot tall colossal statues that depict the young heroes Kaelin and Romir Vanderael. Um, so they face each other with burning staves held high forming a giant arch. Ah, huh, cool. Uh, I think these were the same brothers that were at the fire monument too. Possibly. Mm. The same heroes get reused in quite a few of these monuments. So it was Thing Do it, things to... Or Gary... Uh, sure. Should we do the, um, what was it, the Arcana one, I guess? Yes, Knowledge Arcana. That is, what, nine? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Gary fluffed the Knowledge Arcana. We spend several minutes sitting below the statues thinking, what would the brothers do? Ooh, Fluffy Cloud. Unfortunately, you just can't get into that human mindset today. You're just too much of an elf, because you are Gary the Elf. That's yes. Funny. So, Lens, I think you're doing the perception one, because it seemed to make sense. But you could do the knowledge local one if you wanted. As the Oh, did you not shoot your door? I didn't think I needed to. Sorry. No. What do I need to do? Depends. We're, we're trying out the monuments we've not tried. I did the survival one, and it gave me some stuff with seasickness and a bonus to survival. We figured the perception one might be up your alley, because it's probably a high skill. Would you like to try it? Okay. It is the eyes of a hawk. The monument depicts, again, the two same wizards, Caelan and Ramir Vanderhael, and their adventuring party, the eyes of the hawk, as they defeated the monstrous 
spidery shrizix that erupted <laughs> from the ire span in 4623. Is it just there? Generic perception roll. Yeah. Yes. Well, actually, thing. Actually, thing. I think you're supposed to get a bonus when you do them. Oh, that's right. But it's like uh, I think plus two. You would have failed, but you get a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you still fluffed it, but. A fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, right. just. Yeah. So by studying the monuments complex and accurate carvings of these horrible abominations. Masaki gets a plus one morale bonus on all weapon damage rolls against aberrations for 24 hours. Nice. Okay. That one we knew because we found that one before. Yeah, that's right. Plus one morale bonus. Versus aberrations. On damage. Oh, damaged aberrations. What's an aberration? It's like any, any, any crap from... that's Any crap that's glued to crap. Can we start Mostly. again from the beginning and go slowly? All the Cthulhu ones. Plus one, Plus one damage. Bonus. Plus one damage versus aberrations. So it's not a morale bonus. It is, but so what am I writing that. down? You you don't have many morale bonuses, so it's not. It doesn't matter whether they stack or not. If you had a bard in the party, it would be different. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, but we have no bard, do we? No. Now? Yes. What's really? What am I writing down? Plus one damage. Plus one aberration. damage versus aberrations. Yes. And I will let you know when you are fighting something that counts as an aberration. Thank you. I'm guessing lycanthropes don't count, huh? No. It, it's more things of a Lovecraftian nature, typically. The squigglies, uh, eyes everywhere, not following humanoid body construction. Huh. And things that wizards make, like owlbears. No, those are magical beasts. Are they? Yep. Okay. Yeah, don't they like, aren't they like a uh, natural creature now, too? They. Um... I think they're still magical beasts. I don't know. Maybe they're just animals now. But. Anyway, so you spend your mornings going to different places, examining them, matching them, punching people who heckle you for standing near them, maybe. <laughs> okay. And was there anything else? Or are you going to head back to your docks and towards the crow? Do we need any more gear, or are we good? We need better party numbers. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Brunsk, Brunsk shows up at Hydemark Manor, of course. For Job. Job, yeah. yes. You That's want funny. to bodyguard you today, yes. Yes, please. Mm. What are you paying him? Uh, 30 gold. What a day. Yes. Yeah, but he'll fight to the death for that. Oh, I, I, I could pay him cheaper and he would... Uh... Run away. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. All right. So as you approach your docks, you happen to see that someone seems to be standing by the Pathfinder dock, kind of watching the streets, looking to see if anyone's approaching. It appears to be a woman. She has a very heavy cloak about her, but her face is open. Um, somewhat young, perhaps getting close to middle age, and fairly good. Dark hair, green. Well off, seems middle class as far as you can tell, and she's kind of seems to be hmm. watching to see who approaches. So this is, isn't off. Natalia or anything? It's uh... oh, no. oh yes, I suppose Natalia probably pops up again to meet with you again. I forgot about her. She's there with you too. Yay NPCs! Natalia, do you recognize this one? No, I do not recognize her. She does not appear to be from any. Um, Vrasian camp I've seen, or from one of the Skarazni. Uh, should we go over and introduce ourselves? Yeah, 
I guess. <laughs> Snow as, cold as, star tonight. As she as she stood next to her boat, we don't have a lot of choice. You can always try and hire Timmy to get her to go elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just go down and get on our boat and be like, hi? Sure. Okay, so we'll go down and start getting on our boat. Oh, well, hell, we... uh, hello. Excuse me. Um, uh, would you have any of the, the Pathfinders are inspecting the pilings? Uh, well. oh, there may be I, others. I, I've heard that there are some Pathfinders that have been going to the pilings lately. Yes. Oh, and that's you? I guess, yes. Oh, good, excellent. Um, so, that... so, so you're 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 exploring there. Well, I I don't really need the details. What I'm mostly important in is if you're finding killing monsters there. I, I I mean, there there's a particular monster I'm looking for. Okay, what is it? It's um, well, it's called a sin spawn. I know it's. It, 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 they're, they're usually tall and, and they kind of have these backward legs and they're really white and pale and, and, and their mouth, they kind of look kind of, their mouths kind of look like insects, you know? They're all kind of opening and bangs everywhere. They sound lovely. I, Sounds I know, aberrant. Exactly, right? So I was wondering if you get some of their heads for me. Sure. If we see any, we'll bring you a big bag of them. Wrong quest tree. Are you... <laughs> Wrong quest tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, oh, that, that, would be, that would be lovely. So, um, please collect me nineteen sinspawn heads, <laughs> and I will give you a rusty short sword. Oh, oh, I, I don't need nineteen. Well, I mean, if you could get nineteen, that'd be really great. But mostly, I'm looking for three of them. If you could be, get three, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, uh, so, so if you could find them, uh, you can bring them to my family's place of business. It's, Which uh, is? Hmm. Sorry, two people spoke up one day. What's there? Yes. Oh. All right. Um, it's it's Seymour's burial and um, taxidermy. Burial okay. and Silver Shore District. Uh, would we know what severed sin spawn heads might be of use for to somebody in an alchemical or arcane fashion or uh, knowledge or can Double check that. Arcana is one of my good ones, I believe. Twenty-eight. Um, it's entirely possible someone really skilled at them could even go about recreating them. Since Spawn were the generic foot soldiers of Rune Lords and were, to the Rune Lords at least, rather easy to mass produce. Um, however, otherwise they would just be somewhat of a trophy. It would take a fair amount. Of advanced and skilled work to actually be able to create them, and typically a person would want the whole body for that. Hmm. All right. The only other possibility is um, each sin spawn is obviously associated with one of these sins, and its bite contains. Um, well, it, it generally tends to. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Venom. Uh... Induce thoughts of that particular sin in victims that are bitten. However, she's not... doesn't seem to be asking for any particular sin spawn. Alright. So, three sin spawn heads to the taxidermy shop. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. This is this is amazing. I, I, I've been hoping that someone would go in there. I, I'm sure there's there there must be a whole bunch of monsters in there, but no one really investigates and checks them out. So I, I've really been waiting. And you know there are these people that they, they they pay good money for these sorts of monsters and stuff like that. Thank you very very much. So, do you know any particular type of sin spawn that is rumored to be out there? There are types of sin spawn. I thought they were one creature. Well, there's types of sin. Oh, really? So, so you're saying you could find different ones? I'm just guessing. I'm not that knowledgeable in sin myself, of course. Oh, I, I, I really don't know. I, I just thought they were all the same. I mean, I, I guess I might be able to pay you more if you got really different exotic-looking ones. I never even thought of that. I, 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 oh, that, that's, that's very interesting. And your name, young lass? Oh, yes, um, of course. My name is Ellen, Ellen Seymour. 
Helen Seymour. Feed me Seymour. <laughs> oh, uh, silly me. I didn't even ask your names. Um, you, sir? Gary. Gary, nice <laughs> to meet you. Um, Every time it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so if, if you're able to find any, I mean, if you're not, it would be nice to just stop by and, and, and let me know. So I'm not waiting too much. But if if you do find them, please, please stop by. We'll do, as long as we're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you are dead, my family can really help with the burials and letting your family know we're really respectful about that sort of thing and very good at preparing the bodies in a very lifelike fashion. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. I'd just like to say thank you for my new avatar. It's awesome, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Dude. Mr. Yes. Dude. Yeah, it's great. Oh, I love him. Amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> and he's working on the rest of the party. I particularly like oh, my yeah. striped scarf. <laughs> right. So, you then... Gets on your boat. So you're just, uh, it's morning-ish, nine-ish, ten-ish, etc. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of fog left to approach. Um, I, I really don't think I need to ask for sailor checks here. I'm pretty sure you guys did it the first time. No. Yo, ho, yo, yo, ho. I don't feel even the slightest tinge of seasickness. You are at home on here. Huh! The like very winds themselves you can read. You almost feel like, you know what, you could just add a sail, go a little bit further just to really appreciate it. But... You could probably just swim the whole way there. <laughs> no, no, the whole point is boating. Yeah, boating, <laughs> survival. Reading the winds. Uh, so were you doing anything in particular to mask your entrance? I can't recall if there's any... Last time we did a big fog illusion cloud with yes. the shard. That's right. But, uh, I don't know if we want to do that now and use up the, that use of the shard or if we just want to uh, boldly go where we've gone before. I guess it depends on whether we think somebody's going to be in there and fight. I guess going in un with no cover will expose anyone who's in there if they attack us as we arrive. I mean, they could be cowering downstairs or they could be defending the borders, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, they might have a watch out on a deal, but they might all be... We're coming anyway. Yeah. If they're all in one room, it just means we can drop bigger bigger area effect spells on them, Gary. All right. I'll work on those. So, no fog? It seems like a waste of a, basically a highest level spell. Okay. So, you row in... The yeah. other boats, of course, are now no longer present. Yay, it worked. Well, maybe. Um, what you can see very easily as you enter in is that the rope that I believe you had lowered down from the higher points, which gives access into the proper mm -hmm. piling area, has been raised back up. There's no easy climb. And you're just kind of sort of getting out when there's a whistle from the top. Very good. Oi, you down there. Yeah. Kind of look up. You can see that there appears to be another one of the tower girls kind of watching you from the top. You read like rabbits. I know. It's, how many of these things do we have to knock unconscious? I mean, seriously. You killed two and like 12 replaced them. I don't think you guys killed any. Uh, no, we, we knocked most of them out. We should have done, didn't we? And we definitely didn't kill that ember. This is true. Oh, are you planning to come up here and get rid of us again? I think we've done a pretty um, good job so far. Oh, you no. plan on getting in our way? Well, I'm just trying to weigh my options, you know. See, I'm thinking it's probably better if you bring another boat here for me and my babies to get away, and I don't go warn the leader up top. You got babies? Yeah. Uh, Natalia? Baby what? She's, um, she was the first that Ayala turned into one of the were-rats. 
she is the um, one in charge of taking care of the pets, the rats. So her babies are the trained rats? She is rather fond of the pets, yes. Well, what do you think? Is it worth fetching a boat to uh, clear out a little more uh, danger? I have, I have no problem avoiding a fight. Danger is so? my middle name. Huh? Danger is my middle name. Masaki Danger. John. <laughs> the, the last Masaki name. Masaki Danger John. John. Uh. It's Masaki John, right? Yep. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. What do you guys say? Except for we have to go back and get another boat. Yeah, so it delays our climbing the tower an hour. Yeah. So she could be buying time for them to crack a secret door or something, or. Well, well you no. Know, um, I could always untie the ropes and let this platform fall, and you'd have a hell of a time getting back up here. But aren't there a set of stairs just through this corridor here? No, right, but then you still have to go over the platform to up the above. Platform. Oh. A secret door in the ceiling. Which, but we have amazing Gary the levitating elf. Uh, if you have levitate, yeah, I can do that you? already. Yeah. Do you have levitate? <laughs> no, I can fall slowly. Oh. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? I have no problem avoiding the fight, Gary the elf. I think that sounds like a good idea to me. Yes, I'm still here. So. Do we want to send one of us back for a boat? I'll go back for the boat. All right. It's Perhaps, Yeah. We'll go fetch a boat. It's fairly easy. You go back, you fetch one of the spare boats you have on the Pathfinder docks. You bring it back there. At this point, she's already kind of waiting near the bottom. There's four of these rather large... Have I shown you what a donkey rat looks like? Um, yeah, I think you did when they had that roast one up there. They're, and they're less diseased. Yes. Apparently. Donkey they rat. Be, they kind of look a little bit like a capybara. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's waiting near the... She'll come down. Hey, bud, you're going to you try and feed her. Dog, eat dinner. Dog is making sounds. Lindsay's going to try and feed the dog. As, the I dog have, what? as I have failed to feed the dog. I'm sure Lindsay would love to feed the dog too something this evening. <laughs> Hello, little bear. Are you still there? Yep. <laughs> so, um... During this time, she's come down. She's brought with her some of her donkey rats that kind of growl at you guys, but she holds them back. She's introduced herself as Carissa. I'm going to plug my headphones in because I'm having trouble hearing Blocker. Although the dog just walked away. Ruby! Carissa. Isn't there a no, little no. Seat? no coming back with reinforcements with that boat. Now that would be an interesting idea. Nah, I'm messing with ya. <laughs> yeah, she seems relatively easy going. Um, she's more than happy to kind of abandon ship, as it were. Good. She even tells you that, as far as she knows, it's only Ember and Ayala and a couple of Ayala's personal pet rats that are left up there. Hmm. Hmm. Carissa was supposed to be the lookout, warn them, kind of sabotage the route. Um if possible, make a way to steal your ship and get out of here. But she thinks that's a lot of work. That against you guys probably would cost her life, or at least pain. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like pain much. No. Okay, that's fair. But is she cute? She's a were-rat. She's in human form right now. But she's, she's, st possible. she's still a rat person. 
Well, yeah, but she's that. human. It's only skin deep. What, the rat person? What, the leprosy or lepri <laughs> lepritis or whatever it is that rats she's, carry? She's probably got filth fever. They do, actually. Rat where rats do carry filth fever. <laughs> oh, great. Well, at least they're not poo goblins. That's true, yeah. Everything here is filthy. It's just no good. <laughs> Everything just needs a good wash. You can only go up from poo goblins. It's true. So, Sweet. shall we continue? I see her off and... All right. She gets in the boat and rows away with her pet rats. And, and then we pepper the boat with arrows as soon as she's out the... No. Flaming arrows. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys are able to uh, make your way up into the tank. <laughs> and the dog is looking in the mic. What the hell was that? <laughs> Flatulence. <laughs> I knelt on the floor and tried to give the dog a food, and the first thing she did was lick the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> was that her snorting and licking at the same time? Because it really sounded like someone had a bit too much... It's a bit too many legumes Aww. for lunch. <laughs> oh, they've been mean about you. Only I'm allowed to do that. Up, up, up the stairs. <laughs> Come on. When we pass that mural again, I want to double check the uh, bridge span going across not water. Oop, I dropped my mirror. Out thing. again. Oop. Yes, it's going across the land. Oh, that dude was interested in that, wasn't he? I think. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, my lore of past for Asia is not what it should be, but I think it used it's to be. It's not what it should be. <laughs> well, they haven't documented exactly everything either, uh, so. No, but they, they've documented this relatively well, actually. Ah. I've just been lazy. Lazy and not reading over Christmas. It's terrible, look oh. at it's not like you've had anything else to read. Um, oh, I have had something else to read, actually. My Emma bought me one of the latest Terry Pratchett books. It's the one he it's wrote. It's like all the other ones. No, it's the one he wrote with Stephen Baxter. It's about oh, um... uh, the long earth. It's about um, um, alternate earths. Ooh, I haven't read that one. Yeah. Them. So, ah, uh, this is... You were, you, you were supposed to say, no, Lindsay, I've been reading the, the, the books that you bought me. Well, he's, he's been busy making frocks, though. <laughs> I, I looked over those ones before my break. Okay. One you know, you know I'm now massively paranoid. As soon as you were like, are you sure that this was the right delivery? I'm so... I thought I thought that it was like the best gifts ever, and you, you totally like shat on that when you were like, are you sure this wasn't for you? And I'm like, no, it was on purpose. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just, I, you, I'm sure you mentioned that you were, you weren't buying anything from Amazon and stuff like that. I wasn't going to. I've, I've still got a dice bag here for you. I just haven't shipped it yet because I'm a slacker. Slacker. <laughs> but yeah, you were like, are you sure this is for me? And I'm like, yes, but not quite as sure as I was. <laughs> No, it's 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 fine. It's just <laughs> yeah, he had steampunk dice on his list, so you know steampunk books. Hey, uh, Lens, that dress is looking good. What dress? The one you just oh. posted to Facebook. You know what it looks like, anyway. I know it looks really cool. That's you've seen one, you've that's seen the, the picture one, of me in it, haven't you? Yeah, that's the one she sent me a picture of you in. Yeah, I haven't even seen that yet. It was it was sideways on, so I didn't see the front. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, nice. I'm changing the subject. Sorry. You've currently climbed up to the fourth floor and now down onto the third floor. Okay, that's where they had the barricade and the vista. It's relatively still somewhat messy from the fight. Okay. Oh no, that was the big co big confrontation room. That's this right. was your, this was the big confrontation. Yes. And as you can see, there's several ways to go. So is that uh, passage oops. up north with blue, is that a, like a window out, or is that... It is indeed a window oh. overlooking um, the piling. That's where the Nazgul are. 
Really? That's where they launch their, launch their evil Nazgul plans? <laughs> yeah. So, why don't we go start in that top left corner where there's like a little window and work our way around these rooms? There's a door over there on the far right upper. Well, we can't see that till we get to it. So let's start yeah. in this upper left-hand side with the little slit and check all these rooms out before we head forward. I'm guessing forward is down whatever's to the south. Yes, uh, Natalia, in fact, can f confirm that for Isn't you. Isn't that the way somebody ran? Somebody ran that way into Ember. a different room. Yeah, she ran that way into a different room, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll check this top northerny room first, Lockhart. Northwest room. All right. You can see the hallway kind of continues on. Uh, let's see. I, I wish he would update the Google Drive to be as good as it is in the other one. Load from the local drive where it uh, yeah. does that well, automatically. Well, files should be living. But then I have to mm. manually put in all the sizes. Maybe we should give roll 20 a try. Whereas this one, most of them work. I like the I like faces. The faces. Oh, no, they, they, they've built it in so you can do um, hangouts with it. Can you do hangouts? Uh, Maybe yeah, we should all move to Texas. Yeah, that would be better. Lindsay's right. I think Lindsay has the ultimate solution. I would solution. melt. Yeah, there's a few. Not today, you wouldn't. We've gone over this. It's, it's but, it, but it's Texas. That is very true. Maybe we should find somewhere that's geographically like in the middle of all of us and a move there. A, a nicely moderate, not full of crazy gun wielding psychopaths. Well, Seattle's kind of so in the middle in an angle way. You know. <laughs> let's move to it. Let's move to Canada. <laughs> okay, I only say it once on audio. <laughs> I like I, I, I like Canada. It has a nice ring you have to no it. idea how many times I've said that not when you guys have heard me. It's like my default saying for. I have to say every time you say Canadia, I think of that thing thing <laughs> put up on the the um the forum, which is the Canadian um, police chase, yes. which is a guy shoving his car, followed by a police cam <laughs> shoving his car in the snow. <laughs> oh, did everybody enjoy my Captain Morgan video I put on Facebook this morning? Oh yes. No, <laughs> I didn't see it. You have to watch it because it's hilariously funny. Uh, and I, I, I don't say Canadia on purpose either because she doesn't. I would just like to point that out. It just comes out accidentally. And Canadia sounds like a sexually transmitted disease as like well. Like chlamydia. That's it. Yes. Funny that Thing would know that. Thing's got it in Probably. a vase next to his bed. <laughs> it's in the zoo. In the zoo. <laughs> You can buy all of the sexually transmitted diseases as, as plushy toys. You can, yeah. You yes. can buy the plush toy versions. Which I think's uh, good. I want to buy gonorrhea. The For gonorrhea. Second, I was worried until that last plush toy was added to that sentence. <laughs> you yeah. can buy every sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> it's a plush toy. I'll send you the link. You just go in the alley behind the bar and you... <laughs> really... Buy them all you like. They're really cute. They are kind of cute. You can, and you can also buy like Ebola and stuff as well. Yeah. Yes, I, I have I have seen the disease plushies. They are rather cute. Anyway, yeah. so this um, uh, northern portion here, mm -hmm. you can see that there is a dozen bedrolls that occupy the large chamber, mm. and there's a few pieces of crude wooden furniture that have been set up between them. There's a couple scavenged chairs, a bench, a short table. Torches are mounted on brackets. Most of them burnt out at this point. Search them all. Search the room. It's... Chiggers! Boom! It Shall we search? A no. dormitory, or at least yes. converted into one. Uh, no particular valuables have been left on the bedrolls. Because these people are thieves. Yes. Just 12 bedrolls. What's a bedroll worth? Are those worth taking? No, they're not worth taking. You broke my dog. I don't know what's wrong with her, but I'm done with her today. Uh, yeah, I go to a point where she just wouldn't eat. She's, like, seriously harming my cat. I think, I think she's becoming, um, you know, 
Yeah, well, she can be becoming that all she wants. If she doesn't eat, she's going to get a kick in the face. She's... <laughs> <laughs> but, she... a gen... but a gentle living kick, right? Hey, I don't get extra benefits for any kind of... And now, she sat, like, with her chin on the floor, like, Oh, nobody loves me. <laughs> I've just tried to hand feed you your food, you ungrateful little shit. <laughs> I hate her. Does anybody want a pug? Hey, no. this thing. Apparently, apparently Jessica Bella does. No, oh, she can have her. <laughs> well, no, she can't because she's a model and she might forget that she has it. Oh, but she's moderately cute. Speaking of models, Stop what did you think of Lindsay's pictures? My friends, thing. What? It's weird and wrong and slightly yeah. creepy. Hey, lady friended me. Lady might have friended you, but you friend everybody else, and you knew exactly who I was just talking about, and that's just <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, yes, she's moderately cute. I see people you link to, yes. What did you think of Lindsay's pictures from Saturday? Nice. There's two now. Uh -huh. oh. Lockhart doesn't know what it is because Lockhart Lockhart's trying to tempt me into Facebook. That's no Facebook. The Look the face. Covers with models. So is that just oh, the upper left room cute. that's got the uh, bed rolls, or is that all around the upper section that's, there? That's in the end area there. So is that a window, or is it like a passageway out to the outside? It's a, a window, window is a passageway out to the outside. You, if you know, know what I mean? You could get out of it. It would be a very long fall. Okay, let's not do that. Just say, let stick my head out and look around oh, in case. You're hungry I now. His bum. There is a fair amount of wind now. this high up from the coast. Oh. I will observe it. Oh, it is yeah. swirling. You're hungry now because it's feel survivally. Some good salt water mist in the air. Pugs okay. are hungry now because there's Jaffa cakes. Oh, of course they are. Mmm. Are you hungry now? Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> you know what, Ruby? Fuck you. So this uh, <laughs> gray bit in the center, does that look like solid wall to us all around that? Uh... Yes, that's just okay. map detail. You can't Can see. I close this group chat shit outside? Probably. Group chat shit? On the yeah. right hand side I've got a, like a gray bar that says group chat. Yes, you can close that. That's actually a different um, app, I believe. Okay, it's annoying me. Yeah, you can close that. It's gone. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Now I can see more of the map. So, ladies, I guess we go to the middle room and check that one out. Middle bit. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. There is a door up here as well. Well, oh, you've just been going room by room. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes that's, that's um, generally... That's generally the way we do dungeons. Sorry, honestly, those rooms are generally insignificant. The dormitory is this last bit here. So what's oh. this? What's this bit here, on the other side of the uh, little wall, or is that something you we really don't see? You can't see that. It's probably okay. a statue of a crow. Okay, so that's on the outside, a uh, little alcove or something, probably on that. Yeah. I just, I just kept it because it was nice, easy crop. Okay. Don't want to interfere with an easy crop. So, what, so what's the deal with this door, Lockhart? It's a door. It's currently closed. It seems openable. It's openable. We've shall got we, an openable expert. Shall we check out the room beyond it in case there's monsters in there? Or treasure, yes. Check out the long room with the nubbly bit sticking off of it. That looks like an... That, that, is, that is the dormitory. The dormitory. Oh, okay, we got you. Okay, so let's check out the door. Which door? This little white one here on the right-hand side. All right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll move us all over there. Oh, sure. Put me exactly opposite the door. Right where the blitz of fire is. <clears throat> Open the door. The room smells strongly of rats. A mix of spoiled food, uh... dander, and the pungnic sting of rat feces. Ooh. All under an incongruous scent of lavender. A blanket has been spread on the floor, and a recovered antique brass platter holds a few bits of rat gnawed food. Ooh. There's also a fine pottery basin that um, seems to contain water, which the lavender scent is wafting from. 
Beautiful. Is this, do you think this is where the rats lived that have now gone sailing? The mule rats or the donkey rats or the... Yes. Donkey rats. That or they're putting people here when they're sick contracting lycanthropy. No, this is totally where the rats live. You know it's true. Does the brass platter look like it's valuable brass antique platter? Or? That would be an appraise check. Ooh, Anyone? I have a praise. Let's uh, let us appraise it, and also that basin. Let me do the appraising. Mm, early third dynasty. <laughs> ang ang about. Ang We're hanging. About. I think I put it at the bottom. <laughs> I love it when you do that accent, my lovely. Do the a, accent. I didn't put it in at all. Oh. Why would I not put it in? What what skill is equal to it and roll that instead? I'm looking. Knowledge local is. Yeah, there you go. 23. 23. Very good. The brass platters indeed of the third dynasty. I mean, the Thassalon dynasty. <laughs> and is worth 100 gold pieces. Ooh. Very nice. Another appraise check for the pottery bases. Thank ah. you. Very good. Uh, it is worth 250 gold pieces. Ooh. Which is very fine somehow. Wow. I find that odd that a brass platter is worth less than pottery. Perhaps the pottery, the pottery, perhaps it's old and the pottery doesn't survive. Therefore, it's rarer. Ah, that does make sense. Yes. Archaeologist, hello. Well, that's why I asked you, because you guys could actually answer me these questions. Yeah, pottery doesn't survive as well, so it's much more rare, perhaps, from this period, which is why, like, Ming Dynasty vases are worth so much. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably not worth checking this uh, big long uh, wall section in. Uh, for secret doors, since the it tower girls didn't works. discover anything here. Lockhart, can you assume we're just searching for doors as we go? I tap, require tap, 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 tap. search checks, or saying you're taking ten or something like that. How long is that going to take? Well, okay, okay, maybe we'll... Taking ten is not difficult, I just need to know what number it is so I can tell you. I got you. Uh, is the the unfortunate thing is because there are specific abilities to automatically search for doors, I can't allow you I got you. To just tell you we are. <laughs> I, agree, I agree with Thing. It does look suspicious that that wall is so long and this room is so small. So let us search the uh, long... Let us search that mind, long... There are there were stairs going up here. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, they came up and then came back down on us, didn't they? Yeah, and somewhere Maybe. there's stairs going back down to the... into the base of the tower. Maybe. Someone with a general... Arc, um, Architecture would notice that the stairs you climb up are in this blank area. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Let us move on. Uh, right. So Background. We're on to this this weirdy side room down here that nobody looked in. This one down to the south east. All right. Well, uh, is isn't there a bit of a passageway here too, or something? Or is uh, there? Where are well, you? you need a passageway there. That's where that lady ran, and I don't think there's anything. So we went down there already, and I think that's where it continues. Okay. We never, we never checked this side room, as I recall. Ew. I believe we ran straight south and then came straight back and left without checking here. I don't remember which bits we did and didn't check, so... I, yeah, ran, after, I, I ran after her, so I knew I went south. All right. Well, you ran after on um, the room below where we fought him at the barrier, and then on this one, she got away while the fight was still going on. I think we didn't have time to yeah. run after her. But at least we got Whip Girl. So what's in here, Mr. Lockhart? Hello? Am I still connected? Yes. yes. Okay, it froze up on me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Extra rooms. Oh. Huh. All right. More rooms. Uh, where are we here? Several crates, barrels, and sacks lie here, stacked in an orderly fashion in the middle of the room. Oh. You can see there is a little... It, it does go into another room there. Huh. In case that's hard to see. Um, generally, this appears to be some sort of food stores area. Hmm. Worth a search. Who's my searcher? Me, isn't it? 
I'm guessing it's probably going to be you. Yes. So, sorry, are, are, are you um, saying you're doing the take 10 on each room generally? If, if you add plus 10 to your perception, what do you get, Linz? Um, what do you mean? What's your perception skill? If you rolled a 10 on a... 11. So you get 11 a 21. Is my skill, so I would get 21. Okay, so I'll just write that down, and if I see a secret door with a spot DC of 21, I'll let you know. Unless we're particularly searching hard, and yes. then we'll let you know. Yes, exactly. Mm. So Do I keep needing to roll it? I, uh, if you are searching this room, I will need a perception check. Yeah. 17. All right. Um, the food stuffs here generally consists of barrels of salted fish, dried beans, stale bread, sacks of rye flour, two casks of Eurasian whiskey, Hello. and boxes of traditional Eurasian spices. Spices, eh? Uh, the whiskey and the spices indeed seem to be the more valuable of objects. Oh, and are Where's, where's them, dude? I'm, I'm not trying. This not very... Oh, sorry. Receptive. Whiskey bar. 14. Roots eyes the whiskey. <laughs> uh, that's a 14 on the whiskey. Yeah. All right. So each cask of whiskey is worth eight gold pieces. And one for the spices. Spices. Brunsk is drooling looking at the whiskey. Fight first, whiskey later. <laughs> Brunsk fights better with whiskey. <laughs> Let him get drunk and see how well he fights. Everyone fights better with whiskey. <laughs> do, do we have another appraise check for spices? Yes, 18. 18, there we go. Uh, spices, uh, they're small boxes, but the total boxes of spices are worth 32 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. Very good. Add it to the list. Okay, shall we move forward? Onward. Is this just an opening, or is it actually a door? Um, it's not a door, it's just Doorway. a opening. Door, well... In the, in the same way that this is a doorway, this the other one is similar. So it's not really got a door in it, but it is a doorway. Yes, I would call it an opening, maybe. Okay, but... fair enough. I'm happy. It's a opening in the wall to someplace. Uh, a planned architectural opening, though, right? Not, you know, somebody broke yes. through the wall or something. It's, it's, I, I don't think you can call it a doorway if it does not, in fact, have a door. But... I think you can, as long as it could have a, it could have a door put in it, it could be a doorway. Without a door. I guess that would be a door frame, though, wouldn't it? Yes. It, it, it is a frame, an opening, I don't know. Oh, there it is. That's a weird-looking room, look up. Well, it is a bit... It does have something um, rather weird inside it. Oh, very good. Um, so... It doesn't have any particular furniture inside it, um, and I can ask for... Well, you guys are kind of taking turn on this. You're able to notice that there is a oddly strong, cool breeze wafting in from the south. Hmm. Isn't there an entrance from the south? I don't think you're supposed to see that. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Um, I disbelieve the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> the eastern wall depicts a fresco of a tall, red-headed woman with a ranseur standing over a short, hunchbacked man. The ranseur... Huh? <laughs> the ranseur is impaled in the man's belly, and his twisted demonic hands clutch as the shaft 
as black smoke wafts up from his face and wounds. Does Sounds anyone have knowledge like. history? Uh, yeah. History, did you say? Yes, you may roll it. Hey, it's a class skill for me, but I've not put any points in it. Uh, I've got all knowledges. Kind of. <laughs> Good work there, Gary the Elf. Dead. You don't particularly know what's going on in this picture. A redhead. It's, it's probably on. worth sketching for that dude, though, Gary the Elf. Yeah, I'll, I'll sketch it down in my book. Because, <laughs> you know, it's big and nice. Um, I, I will follow, as I'm a, a Do wonderful... you have um, an appropriate craft or profession for sketching? I just came up last time. I can use all professions untrained. Um, He's chip. I'm, I'm just wondering if you have one specific. You, you can make me a, a, a check, craft or profession as appropriate for how well of a sketch you do. Uh, I do not have an appropriate craft. It is a stick person. Um, <laughs> okay. Stabbing a fat stick person with a stick. It's like a photo. Um, if you're just, writing this down, this is from room B19. You're making a sketch of the wall. I'll add it to the inventory. Oh, God. B19. It is indeed a stick person. Hmm. <laughs> Bad wall sketch. Good work there. That perhaps mean man a, with perhaps, demonic hands. Perhaps also a text description, Gary, would also help. Yeah, I'll, I'll jot down some notes. Oh, it's a woman standing over a man. It's in the notes oh. around the outside with arrows. Woman, Ransor, uh, <laughs> little man, claws, smoke. I flip back at my good sketches from the other day. What the? <laughs> You're clearly possessed by someone who could draw. The burns are a little extra, uh, yeah. So, uh, um... We'll say that wait, while you're kind of checking along the walls, mm -hmm. um, who wants to give me a will save? Sure. I think we'll all do it. Why not? I'll do it. Well, I, I can do it. Twelve. Wow, that sucks. Everybody's <laughs> sucking. Lens, give it a whirl. My will is two. Two. Six. All right, I'll join the club. Uh, the Fifteen. Walls. You have no idea where the breeze is coming from. All the walls in here are solid. None of them are illusionary at all. Even the illusionary one. I like that. <laughs> what, okay, about we... what about Brunsk and Natalia? Uh, I suppose Natalia should get a go at it. Unless she's actually been in this room before. Uh, I don't think they've particularly... They just... They, they haven't really particularly cared about this room because there's no real treasure in it. Um, what is her will save? Her will save is... Oh! She gets a plus two against illusions. Woo! Oh. Some, for some reason I'm Brunsk. Um... But uh, no, Natalia doesn't notice anything. Why am I Brunsk? Oh, that's right. I get plus two against enchantment effects, but that, but not illusions. So it's just, yeah. Anyway, um, you don't notice the illusionary wall. Let let, let us proceed. It's, it's, Clearly, there is just a, a windy crack somewhere we can't see. Somebody must have cast a gust of wind spell in here and permanently did it or something. Those clever it's Thessalonians. The those clever Thessalonians. I'll cast up Detect Magic to examine that how they built that air conditioner, yes. <laughs> the air conditioner. I like that. Okay, we're proceeding down this southern passage. Proceed, proceed, proceed. Marching through the room. In military style. That's right. Nice group, ready to be blown apart by any kind of area of effect spell. <laughs> hey, Rue! Oh, Did you eat anything yet, Mudge? No, Hal. No. Why did I make that? That whining on my floor. Now she's set on my floor. Yes, and the gate is now shut, and my door is <laughs> shut. Have you locked her in my study? Yes, I have. 
Because I am hearty sick of her. Oh, you little monster, making your mummy all sad. Well, I'm starting to get a headache, and as I haven't had a headache for like however many days... We're blaming this dog. I'm not happy to be getting one, so... You need to take any tablets, Munch. Oh my. I'm good. What if, if it's when? stress, I'm good. Oh, that shouldn't be here yet. Oops. Did you give her? Did you give her a bone? I gave her one of those round things. Okay, she started eating it. I've already given her like four rawhide things and a green thing. I gave her a duck treat. Yeah, and she keeps coming and asking for more, without eating. Uh. Yeah. Uh, Lockhart. Yes. Do we have to jump over there? <laughs> no. I jumped a room too far. <laughs> a room too far! Ooh. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't quite fit. Ah. Oh, do we need to to slide this across a little Scooch bit? over. No, no, sliding is not necessary. Just apply movement as needed. Oomph. And it's just a step to the left. That's right. Through the wall. Gary the Elf gets stuck. Mm -hmm. Hop to the left. I and like that. Right. Okay, I guess we're going to check out this room over here with the clearly evil statue in it. Excellent. Two tables of planks and trestles have been set up in here, and a large alcove holds the ashes and soot stains of many recent fires along with a stone statue of a beautiful woman wielding Ransur. A, a red-headed beautiful woman. A hooded lantern um, is probably not burning atop one of the tables. We'll have that, though, because it's kind of spendy, just in case. Well, um, since, since this uh, beautiful woman with the Ransur is not, obviously not that horrid stick figure from the other room, uh... <laughs> I'll see if I can recognize her. Knowledge, arcana, or history check. <laughs> we'll try this arcana. Looks, hey, this woman looks nothing thing. like that other woman that I drew a bad picture of. <laughs> you know, um, clearly you need a 3D image to really get perspective. Mm -hmm. You think this is probably the same woman from before, and she is Alaznist, Rune Lord of Wrath. Ooh. She sounds cheery. Indeed. I wonder what the statue's worth. Well, it depends if it's like a statue or if it's her frozen in stone waiting to be reanimated as the Rune Lord. That'll be worth even more, right? It, it's a rather large statue. I mean, clearly it's... Um, it's so, so what you're saying is we'll have to get some dudes in here. <laughs> um, in the meanwhile, on, on the tables, you pretty much just see that there's some remains of a meal that was interrupted, a few glasses filled with some Verasian whiskey, uh, a scatter deck of Harrow cards. They worth anything? Not really. It's a pretty beat up deck. Mm. Pe people buy Harrow decks just to use for like gambling and stuff too. Right. I'm gonna fire up Detect Magic and start panning around the room. All right. You fire it up, and the only one blinking are the party. I beg to differ. Brunsk seems to be nonchalantly trying to down some of the half-filled glasses of whiskey. Risking rat spittle. Shall we search the room, my dear? We'll be doing some searching just in case they've dropped anything important. So the, sh the statue is non-magical too? The statue is not magical. 27 Good. search. Wow, that's much bigger than I'll get. 20! As always. You search very well, but this seems to have only been a common hall. Nothing in particular here. Okay, cool. Alrighty. I, I took the hooded lantern okay. and, just, and just put it in the party inventory. And this room is B16 for your Pathfinder notes. B16. Oh yeah, thing. Better make notes of that thing. To Elisnist, the Rune Lord of Wrath. 
So, if this is the same woman as on that fresco, who was the dude in that fresco? The demon-handed dude she was stabbing and black smoke coming out of? Uh, um, fortunately, that is a rather high DC to get. Can he roll it if his gnome knows who she is? Is it a story? Um, it, it's exceeding his original result. Huh? To identify her is a 25. So he got that, right? He got that. It's a 35 to identify him. No. Like, you, can't, you can't roll a 35. No. Wow, that's ridiculously hard. Wow. So even knowing who she is doesn't give you a better lead in on him. Um... Considering it's a 35, and he would need <laughs> probably not, and an, he would need an additional six bonus and a natural 20 to get. Um, no, I, no. I, not not that much of a bonus. Top look, Gary the Elf. Although I do have a plus two for uh, bonus on any skill check made. To, oh no, that's for the for he's the Magnum. What's she called? Uh, what's she called? Alaznast. Alaznast. Say, say again. A L A Z N I S T. A Laznist. Okay. It's not a very ladylike name, is it? Uh, I think. But again, I guess I guess a ransor isn't really a very ladylike weapon. I don't even know what it is. It's a big stick with a pointy thing on it. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I don't know what sort of aspect this is going to be. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, do, do you have a picture? I do have a picture. It's a little squished. Oh, she's cool. Oh, wow, she's angry looking. I don't she's know, like the Lord of Wrath. She has a necklace like the one Hal bought me for Christmas. Ha! Nice. She's pretty angry, dude. Where did she go? She, she probably doesn't look quite that angry in this statue. She probably looked more like this in the pic, in the fresco, though. Stabbing that dude. That's yeah. awesome. Nice. She's That's how like, my fire goddess did look like at the weekend. <laughs> didn't quite work out like that. They, send me that picture. <laughs> it's on the Paizo blog. They did. As if I am going on the Paizo blog to find fashion inspiration, send me the goddamn picture. <laughs> there are, there are pe places I will go for fashion inspiration. That is not one of them. <laughs> it's a shame because there's some good stuff on there. There is. And lots of fantasy art sites. I wouldn't find it again. Just send it me. Please. Anyway. <laughs> You're looking very cute today, dear. I like the headband. It suits you. Oh, now she's taking it off. I'm stuck it. Sorry, didn't help. My hair's getting long. I like it. Mine's, mine's getting long too. Look, look, look. Yeah, mine's getting a little long. Ha, 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 ha. Mine's not growing very fast. I want to get longer again. Yours looked better before. Who's? Walk up. Before what? Before I started gelling it back and trying to look like Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know at least one person in Houston that would agree with me were he talking to me. Uh. <laughs> Who might that be, sweetie? No idea. Forgotten. <laughs> I keep hearing these people telling me I like my hair better than it was before, but I'm lazy. Well, believe me, I anymore. would. I have nothing to gain by telling you that. Tom so. Selleck. Because I kind of like Tom Selleck. <laughs> but he did look significantly... Selleckish. ...different before. Ah, Tom. Okay, we're moving on. Come on, moving Tom Selleck. On. Tell us what's next, Mr. Selleck. These other rooms and hallways don't have much to offer, except the general look of having been ransacked of potential artifacts previously. Okay, we'll give them a once-over as we pass by, just to be sure we're not missing anything. Mm, pretty ransacked. Like that, you know, girl hiding out with the cross poison crossbow, you know. Um, this set of stairs, does it go down or up? 
It goes down. Down. But I guess we're going down it. Right. Carefully and cautiously and expecting the death. Is, 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 what, what, what does that mean? It means we're being careful. Perhaps we should go attempt quiet. No, let's not even bother attempting oh. quietly. Well, just again, um, just like how I can't let you automatically search for secret doors, you need to yes. tell me if you're searching for traps or something, too. Are we expecting traps? I wonder whether we should be, right? Coming down the stairs, potentially. They've got to be pretty near here, because this is almost near the room we were in. So maybe we need to be trap searching as we move down the stairs now. Yeah, at least I've uh, reduced my armor penalty for stealth and stuff. Uh, I'll twenty to see if there's any traps. We reorganized the party. Okay. Uh, I'm going to clear this and get to the next floor. Mm -hmm. ah. So we're going to scroll back somewhat to the top of the page. Okay. I'm dragging the party up there. And I'll just add the image of the next room, which hopefully isn't horribly resized. It probably is. Boom! Oh, horribly resized. Where are you? There we go. Two. Did we get a calendar for Christmas? No. Oh. Hmm? We didn't. No, I got a, I got the Hobbit calendar. You got me. Oh. Which I? I need to put up somewhere. I screwed that up. I'll have to print one out. Oh, we can buy a calendar probably. I'll look online and get us a good one. No, I quite often print them out. It's easier. Because I add stuff to them and then I screw them up by accident and then I screw them up and then print out another one. What did I do wrong? Those are way too wide. Oh well. All right. They're too wide? Well, yeah, look. They, they're, they're covering like two by six, those squares. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so as Masaki is up front checking for traps, she does indeed notice that one of the steps going down is actually a carefully camouflaged wooden panel, which seems to lead to a very thin wire contraption that goes across the wall and um, down into the area beyond. Ah. Like an alarm? Well, stepping on it would cause some trigger to the wire and activate some contraption. Is, it worth, is it worth deactivating it? I just want to step over it. Can we just step over it? You can. If you're not a complete klutz. Well, the other option is disarming it from this end, just in case they can set it off from that end. Yeah, but if they're by where whatever gets triggered, then they could just fire the bloody thing manually. Whatever it is. The bloody thing. Not the wire. I like it when he says that. You're, so. the, tra you're the trap expert. Oh. What are we I just follow orders. I vote step, step over. Well, step then, leave it active. Yeah, I have, we have a memory. We'll write it down in our first. Hmm? Trap left active. What'd you say? What was that, Brunsk? Oh, sorry. Was that Lindsay? That was me. I'm not Brunsk. Crap sorry. Active. I've written it in my little notebook. Very good. On, like, on stairs. Brunsk and uh, like, first. Stair 19 or whatever it is. I guess we could always get all the way down and then set it off like we were, and they'd think we were way back on the stairs. Or we could just not set it off and get all the way to wherever the hell they are. Oh, yeah. I mean, they might come rushing out or something if we, you know. I really doubt that. They probably hid behind their enormous piles of traps and walls of fire right now. <laughs> walls of fire. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking not setting it off because then if they come running after us and they're not... Yeah, they might forget about it. Yeah, I, would, I was doing it for that reason, not to... Or we could set it off on our way out if needs be. No. They're probably hidden behind huge chunks of very rare, damageable pottery and stuff. 
Masaki, can you figure out what it does, or is it just a trigger? Can you? It would kind um, of require going past it to really see the mechanism. Right. So let's step over it and see if we can figure out what it does. Like perception? Yeah. Well, I just, you, you do have to get past it first, and so far you guys sound like you're not moving past it, or are you? Okay. It requires we, you to step over into the we, pit. We <laughs> step over it. Okay. It, it could have always been the devilish easy to detect trap, so you step. No. That's right. I've done that before, but only once, and I felt like an ass. Yes. Uh, now, moving past it, a uh, little bit further, um, you're able to see where a crossbow has basically been set up, and this is sort of... There's enough of uh, movement set up that stepping on it would pull the trigger on the crossbow and shoot a bolt in the area of where someone would be standing. Mm, nice. Is it a poisoned bolt? How are you checking? He's licking it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would as well. I've got a crossbow. I could just take the bolt and shoot someone with it and see what happens. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd shoot a wall with it, but uh, you know, because that's what happens when I shoot at people. Yeah, the the, the wall goes slightly green and it starts to fizz. <laughs> so you're taking the bolt on the off chance it's poison. Nah. You realize if it is poisoned, you have a 5% chance to poison yourself when you use the bolt now. That's just weird. Which, which you guarantee he will roll a 5%. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it. Unless right. it's like silvered or something, you know. Nope, just the bolt. Okay. Shall we continue down the corridor checking for traps as we go? Oh. Being very, very quiet. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. For more traps? Yes. I checked the trap. Find one. We must be surrounded by ninjas. I don't see anything. Oh, Hallie, what? take a picture of your ninja, um, Matroska, and send oh. it to Tabby. To who? Tabby. Oh, is he is he keen? He's very into um, Russian dolls, and I told him that you had ninja ones, and he I was do. like, he had a orgasm. <laughs> right, I'll do that. Um, it's one of the stickier forms of gasm. All right, there does not appear to be any further traps. Did I roll the twenty-three? That's right. You scared them all off. They've all gone looking for for easier targets. Ah, uh, that's so good. We're not gonna. We're moving out. We're going to a different dungeon. Okay, is this a door, or is this just an opening into a room that we can it now kind of see? The white bits are doors. Okay, so that's a door. Yeah. It's a big door. It's a diagonal door. Okay. I will send... Uh, uh, our, our door expert will take a nosy. Boss. Is Brunsk... Yeah. Door expert. No, bird is door expert. Yeah, bird rolled twenty six. It's an unlocked, untrapped door. Awesome. What kind of wood is it made of? Those are the most dangerous kind. When was it made? When was it made? A very long time I'm ago. Not wasting twenty six. Ten thousand years ago. But it it pretty well. well preserved. As far as you can tell, it was maybe only cut down five years ago. Awesome. Can we hear anything through said door? Uh, I know. I, I keep think making listen checks. It's perception, right? Yeah. Want to listen, birdie bird? No, I'll, I'll include that 26 perception mostly because I don't... I'm annoyed with multiple perception checks. Uh... Nope, you do not hear anything in the next room. Awesome. Shall we? Might Brunsk. as well, eventually. Brunsk. This is what you do. Brunsk go through door. Brunsk is door expert. That's fine. And he opens the door. <laughs> Brunsk cannon fodder. <laughs> oh god, there's a thousand doors here. Why do I? Why, why do we sit? We're looking for like two people in this building, and there's like it's it's so big. I can't even remember what. Because they didn't build it. Oh right. 
I, I'm going to delete the staircase. You guys are coming in from the bottom. I'm just going to okay. this so it's more. So let's see. How much room do I need here? So we're coming in that that one. Um, why does my ratio seem to be off? My ratio is what? I don't like this. It looks. Hmm. Ah! You want Sorry. us over there? Yeah, I, I I'm moving it because I need a little extra space. I got you. I'll put, I'll just put us moving slightly into the room. I don't like this. My ratio's off. These these are like nine. These are three by three. They should be four by four. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Sal's that little niche there. Oh, um, we're down, down there, here. I see. We're down here. Yes. So, gotcha. looking into this one, you can see that to the west is a massive pair of double doors. Double door, Double doors. Which dominate that end of the spearhead shaped chamber. These doors are made of a silvery metal decorated with images of burning eyes that look inward towards two sets of runes carved onto the face of each door. The walls bear the remains of complex mosaics that once covered much of them, but which has crumbled and collapsed in heaps of colored tiles and debris around the edges of the room. Is that Thessalonian runes on there? It is, in fact. Actually, upon looking at them, they look very similar to the patterns you found on the um, Paradox box earlier. Ah. Do not get distracted looking at the puzzle. Look for enemies. Let's look for the rooms. Check the room out. Is what there room? anything in here? What room number is this? Um, this is room B22. I've let's search, let's might... search the room first and then figure out what the hell's going on with that door. Why would somebody make a room this shape? It's totally impractical. It is, right? It looks like a little fat penis. How would you carpet or wallpaper? Yeah, exactly. Oh. I was going to think, you know, you're going to get the guys in to do the flooring. They're going to be like, we're charging you an extra 100% for this fucking weird room. I'm just thinking about yeah, like, think... vacuuming it. It would be very difficult to get that those like little corners. Especially that pointy bit at the end. Yeah, they never worried about that with cathedrals, though. It's like, yeah, we'll just have somebody do that. Yeah, God takes care of that. We, we, we had a joke in one of the old Yorkton groups that a, a phallic-shaped room was a good room. Is that <laughs> is, So this is a good room? Possibly. It's pretty pointy, though. You wouldn't want to be playing with that too much, I don't think. <laughs> uh, Natalia, were you down here before? Um, yes. This to the east is Ayala's chambers. It was also there where I found the secret chamber that contained the shard. And those big doors, uh, nobody's been past, I assume? We have not been able to open them as far as I know. Ayala may have gone past them, but I would not think they would be closed. You'll see, touching them, it burns the skin. Hmm. I would think if she had gotten them open, she would have left them open. There's nice. something strange about the symbols on the middle of the doors. They glow and move somehow. Ah, uh, yes. What's through the door to the north? Silver eyes. Small room collapsed. Yes. Mm. So, should we check that first? Cross the big open area? Well, we've got to go in eventually. Oh, well, yeah. So. We'll check the northern room first. If it's small and collapsed, it'll take us a couple of seconds. Just to check there's nothing hiding in it. Mm -hmm. We drag Gary yes. past the door. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I want to play with it! My hands are already burned. Just... <laughs> uh, this is how Gary burnt his hands. He found a puzzle door elsewhere in the world. <laughs> and fell asleep against it. <laughs> uh, Must solve burning Rubik's cube. It's easy, you just paint over it, right? I'll I'll find the map piece here, but it's pretty much just a blob. I, I can't even find a description for it, to be honest. 
Oh, oh. this little crappy room. <laughs> yeah. That that connects. Or, or, okay, I got you. We'll search it briefly. Rubble. Rubble, rubble, rubble. I, I don't see. Uh, I, don't know what it is. I can't find it in the book. It's so it's filled. So what you're saying is it's packed with treasure, right? Yes. So packed, in fact, that the room has collapsed and come. Okay. It's filled with rubble of Urkalcum. All right. Ruby says war. All righty. No, uh, it's it's basically some some collapse or. You know, Ruby. So which one? Oh. Ruby, <laughs> thank you for defending us. Which one of these rooms is her chamber, and what is the other one? They both lead into there. Great. So how about a split attack through both doors? Maybe good idea. So shall we say, Brunsk, myself, um, I'll take Masaki for the extra combat. You go with Brunsk. Gary, which way do you want to go? Um, Brunsk goes wherever Gary goes. Yeah, you're going with Brunsk. Brunsk yeah. How's that? Fine with me. Awesome. Do we have a tactic here? What are we expecting? We're expecting a were rat and possibly a woman. Is a woman a were rat or not that escaped? We uh, don't know. As far as Natalia knows, yeah. Ember was not a were rat. Mm -hmm. um, Theresa also mentioned that. Ayala had a couple of her own pet were rats with her as well. Pet were rats or pet donkey oh, rats? Sorry. Pet donkey rats. Don't say pet were rat. <laughs> so I will have my silvered weapon out. I would recommend others do the same. Did I have a silvered weapon? I think we had a few silver daggers at some point. I have a curved silver elven blade thing. Yeah, you're, you're, use your silver, use the silvered curved blade. I don't why know. don't Why don't we attempt to shut down the rat, as, the wear rat, as soon as possible, Linz? Yeah, because we and have... let the others deal with whatever else is in the room. Because mm -hmm. if we can get it flanked and start wailing on it with some silver, it's not going to take long to put down. I don't think. Okay. All right. Sounds like a plan. Nice and simple. Yes. All right. Let's do this. On the count of three. One, two, three. The laws are locked. Bugger. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, it's a smaller room than I thought it was going to be. Crap. No, it's. Uh, it keeps doing this. It's resized nice images because it's actually quite large. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping. It has floating boats. Uh, where are we here? Let's try and move this elsewhere here. That's bigger. That's more like what I was expecting. All right. There we go. But once again, this is still bigger than it should be because the other. Why I see what you're saying. Wrong? It's like yeah. doing a. It's doing like a square and a, a square and a bit rather than a just a single square. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing that. I'm. Uh, we'll manage. Whatever. Uh, so let me just add some tokens on here. Hooray! Monsters! Is that a skin rug? A funky shaped bed? It's totally a bear. There's no head bit. Well, perhaps they got hungry. Covering the rabid pit to the bottom of the tower. Wait, we're already down below the tower. So here we have the infamous Ember. Hey! Who escaped. 
multiple times. Bitch. And may or may not be aware of rat by now. Actually, I was going to mention that. When you do open the door and see her, she appears to be um, nursing a bite wound on her neck. Of course she does. So we figured that might be the case. Did we establish what the moon phases were? No. Uh, yes, it's definitely not times for the moon rats to, uh, to where rats to be developing. It's a, it's a new moon, right? Yeah, there's no moon out. Not, not at all. It's, it's a good long while before the next moon. In Absolutely. fact, all three moons are, are gone. Yeah, yeah they, they've mysteriously disappeared. All the lycanthropes are like, well, bugger us. <laughs> uh, ah, wrong widow. Is, uh, the, mm -hmm. is the Pathfinder world a single moon, single sun-ish, normal-ish world? I think it is. That being said, D&D &D lycanthropes don't need the moon, really. True. Oh, man, it's a space. Ruby, Ruby, come here. Little shit. He's chewing on herself again. Listen. You're oh, attention my. grabbing dog. I hate that guy too much. Come with me. Let's see. Where are the cowgirls? Hi. Uh, the sound of where at power girls I need their step block still more of them oh no you want to burn two rats mm -hmm. Plans. so she could have been bitten last night she doesn't have much time to learn control over lycanthropy or whatever if that is a Just factor in this. You don't want it, do you? No, okay. I'm going to put it on me. Is she listening to us? Yeah, she was. But not very happily. All right. And we'll need some initiatives here. Oh, yeah. Crap initiative. Well, like fighting and stuff. Crap initiative. I'm good at that. Yeah, me too. So, where's the chick we're here to look for? Um, you don't see her. Oh, I could perhaps give a room description, too. That might be good. Several pieces of furniture decorate this room. The modern furnishings, however, clash with the ancient carvings of Thassalon wizards, crafting to form monsters from dead bodies decorating the walls. Sounds lovely. Luxurious crimson Eurasian drapes have been pinned up in an archway to the southeast. Uh-huh. 22 for my initiative. So is that that I orange squared off thing? Or? Indeed. And I have an eight. Your decks will be bigger or, no, than mine. Sorry, load. seven. Seven. All right. Uh, oops. I'm going to need Masaki's. Grunsk is going on 23. Wow. Grunsk is eager. It's that whiskey. <laughs> Let's see if he can kill something on a charge. He's the one that doesn't have silver weapons, however. Yeah, but you don't need it for a donkey rat. This is true. Uh, Natalia? Natalia is a 15. Donkey She's rat. She's a what, 15? Oh, 14, sorry. 14. 14. What did I say? I didn't hear it. Donkey rats are going on a 15. Donkey rats. Still ahead of me. Emba. All my initiatives are plus three. He's going on a 20. Hmm. Uh, is going on a 19. Person not seen yet. Ayala, person another. not yet appearing in this movie. Yeah. You can have a name, she's not going on the list. <laughs> and then I need Masaki's. She got a 22 like me. 22, but yeah, I'm ahead of Nirimo. Okay. Because her dex is bigger. Just. I don't know about just. You're the thief. You're going to have like 9 million decks. My dex is not strong. 
Mm-hmm. Brunsk gets to go first. Brunsk is happy with this. Second Brunsk. Brunsk kills the room. We all go home. <laughs> so let's see. He is indeed going to charge. And why not? So he moves there and tries to smush the donkey rat with his shield. <laughs> he loves that shield business. Yeah. The seven's pretty solid, though. It's true, but uh, unfortunately, it seems shields really aren't suited for charging and hitting people. Huh. No, I think Brunsk is not suited for. Either that or maybe it's the effect of the whiskey. Uh, <laughs> Misaki! All the poisoned whiskey, half filled whiskey glasses left behind. Am I allowed to... Well, because we were preparing-ish, did I pull out my silver weapon? Okay. I'm going to charge at the obvious where rat-ish person. He's got no straight line. There is, yes. Brunsk was... Yeah, Brunsk was... He was was straight in. They're more to the north than the south, so we're going to have to move in rather than charge in. Okay, I will move in towards the obvious were-ratish person. Do you want to try and get to the were-rat? That's what you told me to do. I know, but we're going to have to go through that donkey rat. As, as far as you can tell, you can't see... Lindsay, ignore everybody else. Make I know! <laughs> Sorry. There Would you is. like to change what you're telling me to do? Yeah, take out the were-rat on first, and then we'll take her out. Lockhart, I'll take out the were-rat first, the donkey rat thing. Well, if you can put that down, I can get to her. Okay. And you're silver. Yeah. I'll hit it. Hit it. Does it change any of my numbers? No. Nope. It does, I think you do one less damage because you're silvered. Okay, so my to hit should be the same for yeah. my... Okay. So my to hit will be 11. Will that even hit it? Hidden for Brunsk. Yeah, um, 11's not doing it. I'm coming in, I'm going to punch it. Now, am I going to punch it or am I going to use my karma? I'm going to punch it with my free hand. Okay. 22. That'll do it. 10 damage. That'll knock to the ground. Good. Boop. Boom. All right. Ember. Ember, Ember, Ember. What can Tower Girls do again? They can run away. Tanglefoot bags. Oh, crap. We, we, we got all their Tanglefoot bags. Yeah, we have a crap load of those. We have 14 of our own. That's what we should have done. Just ran in and threw Tanglefoot bags at them. And <laughs> just c- crashed Thinked them under them a mass ground. of... <laughs> That's right. Uh, she's going to throw one at the person who's actually done damage so far. God damn you, Lockhart. <laughs> uh, That's the first Tanglefoot bag to miss me. You know that, right? That's the first one you've missed with. I do believe it is, indeed. <laughs> You've been lucky with those. I've spent my combats at minus whatever because of those damn things. And she's going to kind of step back at that point. Oh, you go. Um, from there, an arrow shoots out from the curtain towards Nearmore as well. Let's see. So that's that curtained off orange area? Yes. Uh, missing. There. So do I see who shot me? You perception check? To see where the arrow came from? Uh, you know where the arrow came from. It's perception check to get past her hiding, which she's taking. Oh, she's on. hiding. It's that rogue thing, right? Get sneak attacks, hide behind cover, etc. I guess. Uh, you got your phone near you. Uh, why? 
Your mum on... wants to see that picture that you keep promising to send her. It's on the other side of the room. I'll grab it in a sec. Okay. Because she's bugging me about it now. And I go Twen and have a copy of it. 23. So, let's see. Where's her... Well, at least Natalia's way is clear to Ayala now. Now, if this is close, I'll look up. There's probably penalties she's getting for shooting, but... Uh, right. Hmm. We'll give her uh, has, again, three, but she's probably getting penalties. Uh, so we'll say that she's there. Huh. Oh, looks like a little rat person. I actually have a proper picture for her. Hmm. Rat person. She is proper wear rat. Currently hideous rat form. Nice. Or is she in one of those weird half human, half rat? Ooh. Oh, hang on. Let me roll it up there. She looks somewhat like that, except with a longbow right now in the top corner there, if you want to. And, uh... Is that a bladed scarf? It is indeed. Verasian. That's going to be annoying. Those Verasians and their weapons that don't quite make sense. They're yeah, really... they don't do damage, but they knock you over every goddamn round. No, bladed scarf does damage. Yeah. yeah. You're, thinking, you're thinking a whip girl that just knocks you down. Oh, uh, yeah. But you can trip with a bladed scarf too, right? Possibly. To be honest, I didn't look it up. I think it's a trip weapon. It's definitely a finessable weapon by the looks of things. Mm. Anyway, uh, Donkey Rat. Donkey Rat is going to attack Brunsk. Because he tried to squish him. So plus one. Nope. It gnaws on Brunsk's shield. Natalia! <laughs> so Natalia is going to. One, two, three. She'll probably move up to the rat and kill it, just get out of the way. Tries to stab it with her mithril sword. Success! Woo! Plus one. Um, it falls bleeding to the ground. Yay, yay, hooray, rah. And Gary. Gary will move into the room. Uh, let's see. He's, he's so brave, he's so brave, he's so brave. There's just not a good range. Unfortunately, all my spells are crap range. I will start casting Summon Monster 1. It's a, a good call, Gary the Elf. Did you move? Then he I doesn't moved. need Oh, doesn't no, need that's right. Move. I can't move in. Because it's a full round action. So stand so, back. Stand back, out there and just cast him into the, the door. room. Five yeah. oh, foot step up and closer, but not a full move. Yeah, put so yourself in. in the doorway? Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And you start. Chumba Wumba, Chumba Wumba. Yeah. Apparently. Right. We're back to Brunsk. Um, I wonder where Brunsk is going. Brunsk, charge! Shock. <laughs> Little girl first, then hideous rat girl. He, uh, right now, Nearmore is the only one who's really properly spotted her, really. <laughs> is that a... Is that like a skin rug? She's next to, or the brown thing with legs, blob in the middle. It's a curtain. It's a curtain. This, this, this whole thing that uh, Ember is backed up against. Oh, that's a wall. It's a wall. Okay, yeah. so that's like a big pillar. pillary thing. It does look like a rug. A bigger wall. Okay. It does look like a rug. It's like a big. Now that you mention it, actually. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I think Bruins hits her. That's good. So she can overlook the boats, the boat dock in from her own room. Nice. I, I think those are more illusionary walls. Ah. Uh, uh, where is thing? Some? There is no boat dock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bruins kits. Ouch. For Ouch. max damage, she nice still. I shot Bruins. So she gets her damage reduction off that, but but. Uh, she is, uh, well, not that you guys would necessarily know this, but damage reduction only applies while in one of the bestial forms. Oh. Excellent. Hmm. 
which is why you can't tell if you're automatically hit with lycanthropy by poking yourself and seeing if the blade goes through your skin or not. Because it doesn't until you're a lycanthrope. Yeah. That's funny. Or it does until you're a lycanthrope. I got bit by a wolf the other night. Am I a werewolf? Stab. Mm. <laughs> yes, that's interesting. Just chat down on some wolf Spain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to smack. Can I point out to Masaki where she is? Yes, and obviously people saw the arrow. Yeah, she's over there. Go kick her ass. Okay. What happened to the one that was next to me? I killed it. Right. It's actually it's lying unconscious on the ground. Okay. Yes. I'll stand on it. Well, did you did you new non lethal to it? Oh, always. Okay. It is actually unconscious, not bleeding like the other one. Mm -hmm. You're going to make your own pet donkey rat. Well, I don't see the point in killing things unnecessarily. If I'm a monk, it doesn't seem like I need to. Tomosaki goes after its eyeballs. Yeah, well. I'll step around it and go and find the other one. Yeah, she's over there. Go wallop her really hard. Can I get to her? You can. Okay. Pretty sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, yep. Like that. Does that, does that put Masaki in a doorway? Kind of, yeah. That's annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to... It's a doorway people can move past, but Ayala is currently... Well, no, she isn't currently point. threatening it. She could eventually be threatening it. Right. Oh, yeah, because she's got her bow out, right? Yeah. Right. Wallop the crap out of her. No. We're rats. They're fast. Ayala has the bow out? Okay. Yeah. Probably not for much longer. At which point I shall be taking advantage of the fact that she has a bow out and moving to there. Does she have attack? She, she, does she challenge at all? She threaten at all with a bow? Um, I suppose technically she threatens with her bite. So she's going to attack me moving through. Are you moving through? I'm going to have to. Yes. Luckily he's silver. Hmm? She doesn't bite, bite me. Nope. Then I'll continue to move to there. Is she a statue of Ayala? An illusion? Can you move that far in one move? I think so. I'm here. That's quite far. From that? Oh, yeah, maybe. Where was I? I was there, wasn't I? Two, three, four, five. You're right. I can only get to about there. Yeah. Or possibly there. Let's say there. <laughs> How's that? I'll hit her. Okay. With my camera. Why is that section all walled off? Just for because of we don't... sleeping quarters are private. Nine. That's not going to hit her. We're, we're, gonna need... we're desperately going to need help here. I need to go and get more batteries for my mouse. Oh, you're all right. Is it running out? And I'm not good at not mousing. Dog's finally asleep. Yeah, and I'm probably going to wake her up now. No, I'll cover her ears. Ember tries to backflip away from Brunsk. Yeah, I would too. Um, that might succeed. What's his CMD? <laughs> you... Nope. Hmm. What rulings did we do for this game? I can never remember. For what? Are we doing official tumble rules or non-official tumble I rules? I think we've just been stopping. Have we been stopping? I think we have. I think you've had Masaki stopping. Oh, did we have a discussion last time where she moved anyway? I can't I remember. Always, I always ask this because I never remember what, what group uses what rules. I Officially, can't remember. A thing? Do you uh, remember? I believe we stopped rather than you I think never moved from the square. Okay. So then she will try to tumble again hmm. with her second move action. Oh, yeah. Bladed Scarf. And succeed with that. And is going to move there. Oh, lovely. At that point, it's Ayala's turn. She's got to be She's gonna drop her bow. Of course she is. She can't hit me because I don't have a working mouse right now. <laughs> she takes out her bladed scarf and indeed is going to try to hit Masaki. Somebody She's else. Tripping and disarming weapon. Wonderfully. Really? Hmm. Right. Combo, yada, yada, yada. Really doesn't mention much about that. 
In the write-up in the Versa guide, it's got it as a specialist disarm comma trip. Hmm. Well, she uh, apparently just likes killing people with it. She likes trying. Lucky, lucky Misaki. I really don't have a working mouse at the minute. Hang on, let me just make it work again. Barbarian Chew. We're going to have a big line of flank going on here. Let's see. Mm, she, then she's got five right. footsteps there. I'm back. So what does she think she's going to do? Is dead. Natalia. Didn't she? Huh? Is she allowed to five foot step? Reaction. Okay, fair enough. I guess she is allowed. Trying to do something to me. She tried to attack you. Oh, no. Ooh. Do we have a flank there? That That's was a flank. flank. That's a flank between two rogues. That's a dangerous <laughs> place to be. Especially uh, on a 23. That this ember got hit with Brunsk before. Mm -hmm. this, this could be bad. Nice. <laughs> I like a quick fight when it goes <laughs> this way. Hey, can you summon anything that's got silver bits by chance? <laughs> no. That's a shame. It's not much damage, but it is enough to have her fall bleeding to the ground. Awesome. Even the fire beetle doesn't really have fire, apparently. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, Gary's just turn. Gary, within 30 feet, I believe. You may Something appears. Creature. What is it, Gary? I will do, once again, the... Uh... Oh, God, word. The hawk or the eagle or whatever yeah. it is. Yes, the eagle. Is it like a fiendish dire eagle? Yeah, I think I can only apply one of those to it. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, either fiend it's either fiendish or... Or celestial. celestial. I'll go celestial. What the hell? It can might give, eagle. Yeah, it might give a smite attack. Um, and we don't have eagle token, do we? No. I think we used a puppy last time. <laughs> Pugwampy. Pugwampy. That's a great picture on my wall today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh. today. Oh. Pugopolyp. <laughs> I can't turn that to token. Pugopolyp, so whatever it was. Is that today? Today's been I think it might have been yesterday. You've done a lot today, little dude. Pugopolyps. Yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. Pugopolyp. I think the pug in a pug was yesterday, too. Oh yes, yeah, might evil good once a day at a swift action. Sadly, it's got to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I I image searched eagle token. Now I have a whole bunch of coins. <laughs> oh, nice one. Look how I have the ruby that sits in snarls and is cute and lovely. I thought to pick her up to make it happen. Well, I'm penalized because I'm not strong enough to sit with her on my knee. That's mean. That's basically it, yeah. She's she's applying a minus five penalty. Oh, it's an eagle. Awesome. Where's it arriving thing? So let's see. I took it. You... Throw it as far far away from you as possible towards her. Yes, I've got 25, 30 feet. Yep. So 10. These are five feet? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that do I have to do the staircase? Staircase? Well, the like two over, one down, two over. So oh. is that thirty feet or is diagonals are? I think the first one counts for one. The second one counts Five, as two. Ten, twenty. Hmm. Twenty-five. Yeah, and I'll send it like there. Okay. Thank you, Munchie. Well, that's a bit Ooh. far from as you can see. Let's say you can put it there. Okay. That's the other place is kind of around a corner for you. Right behind Natalia, just in case. Can she? Fl yeah, I guess she could fly oh, in. Oh, an eagle! <laughs> oh no, she must be terrified. Keep it away from my hair. Oh, that's oh, that's right. That's its land speed is ten feet. I was like, what the? <laughs> I guess I have to stay a bit. Yes, so yeah, eagle. So does it get to just take a move then? Yes. 
You can move and attack. And see, it's got an 80 foot fly. Send it to me and I'll send it to you. Okay. Um, can it get past Masaki and make that turn through the curtain, or is that going to foil it uh, flying there? Uh, I was thinking about that. It is interesting. And if the ceiling's high enough, it can go over Masaki and stuff easy, but... Can't go over me. I would say that there has to be an opening, of, or a few openings within it, so the eagle can probably fly past. We'll call it difficult terrain and double moving to get through, but still with okay. eight feet of flight, not much of a problem. Yeah. So do I have to stop like here in front of it, or can it come up here? Um, as far as I know, getting there is going to provoke an attack of opportunity. All right. So like there? Yeah, you could get there. What the heck? And it can ineffectually claw at her, or beak, or whatever. What the hell does it do? Talons? Just Two smite, talons. Smite the bitch. Adds a charisma bonus plus zero to the attack rolls. A damage bonus equal to hit dice plus one. It's the only way you're going to hit with it is to do it. <laughs> I honestly don't think the eagle can do anything to her. Probably not. Get it in there anyway. Have a shot. You may as well. You might get lucky. You're always hitting a 20. The, the, the problem is not hitting so much as damage. Oh, even with Smite, it's not... Oh, Smite's just... Smite gives it a uh, plus one Would it then hold Eagle its action to claw to aid another, much. or? Okay. Oh, um, and it's just kind of flying an about, attack, annoying her, isn't it? Get about ten, and then say, I'm giving, yeah, and say I'm giving Masaki a plus two bonus to hit, or I'm giving Niramo a plus two bonus to hit, or I'm giving Masaki a plus two bonus to AC, or. Okay. Uh, I will give, uh, I guess Niramo a bonus to hit. Masaki's going to be able to hit fine on her own. Thanks. I haven't hit any of the times I've tried to yet. What? It's not worth wait, or, it on me. Or is Misaki, uh, which one hasn't gone yet? Or have both gone? No, they we, both go right We've both gone. Yeah, we've both already gone. Yeah, we'll just... Sorry. just uh, plus three, plus three on the talents, is that to hit? Yeah, it's one each. You would just roll one, though. You're not doing a full attack. Right. So just d20 plus 3. Yes. And... Another. Brunsk. I summon as good as I fight myself. Mm. Boss, what Brunsk do? I do something better than boss. <laughs> boss rubbish. Uh, beat up rat if you get chance. Where rat? Yes, exactly. it is. <laughs> exactly, yes, it's gonna be good. Uh, Brunes kind of wanders over to where people are congregating. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll put him there. Can he do enough damage? I wonder. It's it's a bit closed in there, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Masaki. It's okay, the, the eagle will be disappearing soon, yeah. He will last uh, two rounds, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But it's true. Anyway. Uh, Misaki. Can I still hit her through the eagle? Or do I need to... You need a five foot closer? step to the bottom right. Like there? Yeah. Okay. Well, Misaki's only, th what, three feet tall, and the eagle's uh, <laughs> flying. They could, they could, no. Together, they're considered medium. Misaki is not small, I believe. Ten yeah, million. she's medium. They're four or five feet. I think she's a short medium, but yes. Ooh, that'll Thank hit. you. Nice shot. Go, Linz. Thank you. It's good damage, too. On the 10 plus two. It's good damage. Uh, oh, and wallop her hard. Uh, 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 uh. This would be good. 
Oh, bad. That's better than any other damage I've done yet, so. That's silvered that at least, so. We double that, right, Lockhart, because you like me. And I have headaches. I uh, like that. Oh! And it's happened. Oh, oh no, I no, she's getting weaker. And, and I was in bed, and Hal woke me up and made me come and play. Right? <laughs> Sorry. We'll have Nirmore's turn as. Ayala Ooh, is you cold, heartless bitch. aghast at being cut. That someone has the massive ability to damage her. How dare they? Bleed her own blood. Her equal or her better in Masaki. I'm clearly her better. All right. With the pride charge, sure. Technical question. Is it worth attempting to grapple her, or should I just try and wallop the shit out of her till she's dead? I can't. <laughs> I she guess I can't... have a natural attack, which is very easy to use in a grapple. Yeah, you're right. She's going to bite me in the grapple, which is pretty bad. All right, I'm going to hit her. I'm going to flurry my kama. <laughs> the sentence you say every day. Kama, kama, kama. Five. <laughs> Five. Here we go again. The dice roller says no. I five foot step. Nice Emma Emma is dead. Ayala. Well, Ayala just pretty much has to go and prove that rats are superior to birds. <laughs> Which birds? All birds. <laughs> In this case, Tengu, though. Specifically the Tengu. Oh! Mm. Oh. Soon to be where, Tango? Walk. Yeah, that's going to be that weird scarf. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone is a. Do they just have a regular crit range? That doesn't. It's got, it's got to have. It's a. It's a scarf. Yeah, it's um. It's got to have a normal crit range. It's, it's got too many weapon though. It's just it's, a times two. Yeah, it's got too many special abilities to give it anything else. All right, all right. Otherwise, it would be the spiked chain of evil. Yeah. Exotic two-handed. So that's Ouch. seven points of damage to Masaki and a fortitude save. Thought so. Yes. Filth fever. She's not was very good at fortitude. Oh, she's poisoning you, the bitch. Seven on my fortitude save. Ooh. You take one point of con damage and one point of wisdom damage. Ouch. She's cut him in whiskey. <laughs> con and whiz. Whiz that con out. Natalia. So the child's going to slowly get into there. And... Tum tumble through, bitch. Um, oh, cast a spell might be nice. Yeah, she's going to do something like that. Come on. iPad, four fingers. Come on. Silly four bastard. fingers to you, iPad. <laughs> Post a switch programs. Um, she touches Masaki on the shoulder, and Masaki feels this impending energy of destiny upon her. Way. Was that a basic generic plus one, or was that the reroll one? I can't remember. It's Gary's turn. I'll look it up while Gary has his turn. Go on, Gary. Let's do things. Uh, I guess I will try and close into the group. Uh, oops. Yep. That's not me. Eagle. Hello? Ga Ga Gary, does the Gary goes and closes with the group by moving time space and the map. <laughs> You can do a double move, Gary. Yeah, I guess I can get up here behind Brunsk. You could get right up in behind Natalia. There's also the eagle. Himself. In that gap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you can see see the... Um, yeah. So, just the eagle should assist again? Go for it. Can you give us bonuses to hit? Because this bitch is difficult. Yeah, I'll uh, try and assist uh, 
must uh, blah, 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 Niramar to hit. Thanks. Masaki, the touch of destiny uh, gives you a plus one on attack rolls, skill checks, ability checks, and saving throws for one round. Plus one on... Everything, basically. Nice. Play them again on... To, uh... Attack rolls, skill checks, ability checks, and saving throws. It's basically everything, except for damage. Gary's eagle does not assist. Okay. No. When does Gary's eagle vanish? Is it the start of his next turn, right? Start of his next turn. Right. What was that called? Touch, touch of, of destiny. destiny. Natalia touched you in a good place. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm pressed up against Natalia. Hello. All right. Uh, so, has Gary just moved then? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Brunsk. Brunsk really can't get in there very well. Not for a while. Runesk readies an action to attack someone who approaches his boss with hostile intent. <laughs> <laughs> Never know when that Natalia's going to turn on us. Masaki. Um, I probably need to get out of there. Are you that damaged? Um, I've lost half of my hit points plus two stats. Damages. Oh, sorry. Uh, you also have to make a, po a fortitude save this turn again. Okay. You can take it at the start or the end, your choice. I'll do it now. And you get plus one to this from Destiny. Ooh. Destiny. <laughs> You've already fought off Filth Fever once. You should be, you know. Nine. That is another... Wisdom and con damage. Should we say you took that at the end of this round? Okay. As, you get, as you get to choose, it makes sense to roll last. Okay. I would hit her and move down to the south, or you can full retreat down to the bottom of the room. I think I'm going to full retreat out of the way for now. You could hit her in just five foot step. She's unlikely to go after you with so many of the targets right next to her. Okay, I'll hit her and then I'll five foot step out of the way. Thirteen. You do not hit her. God damn it. Oh, no. Five foot out. Um, bottom or... But you're going to have to go down because you can't go up and through. Okay. And then I'll take another. Okay. Uh, I'm so screwed. Near a more. I flurry her again, flanking with the eagle. So, with the eagle. <laughs> so I'm on. This is. These are both plus twos. Yes. Eleven. Ooh, natural twenty. Six. Um. It's gonna be a crit then. Fourteen. I hit her though. Roll confirm. I did. It's a fourteen. Oh. Oh, it I fails. see. Oh, so okay. Um, yes, you do hit her. Seven damage. All right. There's some more damage on her. Yay. You also have made her bleed her own blood. Ha <laughs> ha. Indeed. What's with these people? I will. Really, she now realizes you as a threat, that you are her natural enemy, a man made entirely of, of silver. <laughs> I will five foot step to there to give Natalia an opportunity to flank with her. All right, so Ayala is going to step away from Eagle. Wimp. And yeah, Scarf. Scarf me. Scarf in the face. Ooh, ouch. Does the hit you? That will hit. Is... There we go. Six plus three, right? No, two. Good damage. Three damage. Thank you. Scratch. And for did you save again, or is that worn off on Masaki? No, poison is weird in that it doesn't stay on a weapon. Yeah, you only get one shot with it. Otherwise, it would be very good. It would be better than some spells. Yeah. In fairness, considering that the DC stay relatively low. Mm. But anyway. Well, at these levels, no DC is low enough. 
Yeah, it's true. All it takes is a couple of bad rolls and you put a whole party down. So, Natalia, she can move to flank, can't she? Five. Yeah, ten, she ten. can. She can diagonal, diagonal it up. Yeah. Her face filled with rage at her former boss who tried to kill her, and Natalia stabs out and misses. Damn it. 18 misses. Ouch. Uh, no, I do add... I don't use macros, so I actually added the plus two to that. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Gary, eagle goes poof. Eagle goes poof. He was good while he lasted. No, I pro- he wasn't. <laughs> no, he was fine. He flanked for me. I suppose it's true. He did flank. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, crap. Um, crap. What spells well, do you have, Gary? Well, burning hands probably isn't going to do any good. Only if you were right in front of her. Gary, what spells do you have? Do you want to heal Masaki? I could try and heal Masaki, or I could try and daze the, uh, Ayala. Heal Masaki and get her back in the fight. Well, can you heal the stat stuff, though? No, no, but at least you'll have the wounds to go back into the fight. You'll be at negatives, but you still get a chance to hit, and if you hit, your, your sneak attack damage, if you can get it off, is good. So can I reach uh, Masaki and still be able to cast this round, or will I be casting next round for the heal? Totally. You can pretty much five-foot step. It's a five-foot step, though. So just the diagonal? Yeah. Okay. And we will do a cure light on Masaki. Boom! There's that slight sound as Gary puts his burnt hands on you. (laughs) It's like rubbing pork scratchings on your skin. (laughs) (laughs) But you're pretty healed up. Nice. Except for that one hit point from con damage. Well, better than nothing. It's actually a pretty nasty poison because it does con damage, which means the more you fail, the harder it gets to succeed. What is it? Uh, blood root. Oh, that's bad. It, it, won't, it won't kill you, but it's not great. No. So it won't kill you from con damage? Uh, well, only if you're very weak, I'm guessing. It only lasts a number of rounds over time. Oh. That's it, good. Owen does one con damage and only lasts for four rounds. Uh, who are we? Gary Brunsk. And Brunsk can actually move and attack now. Yeah, he can. Brunsk. Whether and... he can do anything is another matter. There? How did he get there? He moved around enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair. Maybe a good flank for Masaki. Well, mind you, it's a, he, he probably would just go there. Help protect yes. Moscobus. Moscobus. Uh, and yes. Shield. Huh. No okay. shield. I should have pounded some silver pieces into his shield. <laughs> Bought him a silver shield. No. Put silver pieces on the shield. Probably cheaper. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway. Brunsk is a failure. Masaki! It's not a failure. He's just misunderstood. <laughs> I think... Let me see. Can you get there? One, two, three, four... No. Four, 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 five... Yeah, maybe. One, he moved two, six, Linz. One, two, three, four... Up one, five, dag, Linz, six. You can actually get to flank. Yep. Okay. You're gonna move me. I have. Now she's in trouble. Whirlwind attack! 20. Circle of death. Uh, 20 will hit. Full sneak damage. Actually, that's a 22 if she's flanking. Full sneak damage, little dude. I get another plus one on, on it. Plus one to what? The attack from the touch of destiny thing. I think we're... Isn't that that off? Was, Is it off? Well, that's to hit as well, so yeah. It's not to damage. Well, it's no. only one round. Oh, okay. Better than nothing. So what's the damage I'm doing? 1d10 plus 2 plus 1d6. Oh, hang on. That's good damage for silvered. 1d10 plus 1d6 plus 2. 1D6. So a d16 plus another. <laughs> it's a minimum of two on the two days. Ten damage is solid. It's rubbish. 
Very nice. She's it's looking pretty. Pretty. It's She's going to be upset, though. Massive. And it's Niramor's turn before she gets hers, though. I flurry my camera again. With blink. Yeah. Plus two. Ooh. Natural 20. Woo, finally. 18. 18 will miss. Ah, second attack. 22. Confirmed. Oh, okay. 16 was to confirm? Yes. Okay. So 24, 24 to hit, 16 to confirm. Oh, 18 to confirm, 22 to hit the second time. Two regular hits. Nine damage, five damage. All right. Uh, I think she's dead. Woo! Yay! No, chop, not chop, quite. Chop, chop, chop. She's oh. very, very hurt, though. Down, bleeding. Not completely. Oh. She's not dead yet. Yeah. Well, so, so, she will be in if you wait a few seconds. So I should run forward and stabilize her? Sure, do it, Gary. Stabilize her with that dagger. Um, Unfortunately, <laughs> Natalia acts before her. I figured that might happen. Is she cool Natalia. to growing? Drives her blade into Ayala's head. The body slowly transforms back into that of a rather lovely human. I think she's a bit less lovely now. Well, yeah, I suppose there's the sword <laughs> sticking through her hand. Ah, cleaning her, the blood on her sword off on Ayala's scarf. Natalia says, Thank you very much for helping me clean up my past a bit. <laughs> You're welcome. As promised, my magical item. Oh, mm. that's kind of you. And with that, she pulls out a pair of boots from her backpack. Ooh. She's not wearing these boots. She has, if you've actually noticed, she's wearing different boots than she wore the other day. Oh, okay. She has two pairs of magical boots. <laughs> Or in no. anticipation. The boots she's now wearing are no longer magical. Oh, that's kind of a... So what are these ones? Did we ID those? I don't think so. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to be writing magical boots, Do you, do you know what cat burglar's boots are? Probably not. No. Then, no, you haven't identified them. <laughs> but now we have, right? <laughs> boots. No. Spell craft check. What, she's just not going to tell us? I suppose she would tell you what she knows of them. Uh, where were they? Where are they? Cat burglar's boots. They sound cool. Let's see. Since she knows what they do, she gives you the in-character version of what this the crunch is. <laughs> I just did a 24 on spellcraft, too. So That will do it, too. These soft-soled boots provide their wearer with a plus two confidence bonus on acrobatics, climb, and stealth checks. Oh, wow. Lens. Once, <laughs> not done yet. Sorry. Once per day, as an immediate action, the wearer of Cat Burglar's boots can re-roll one failed acrobatics, climb, or stealth check, taking the result of that check in place of the first failed check, even if the second result is, for, is worse. In addition... A secret pocket in the boots is built to hold a fully functional set of Masterworks Thieves tools, sold separately. Nice. <laughs> a DC 22 perception check is required to notice this pocket. Any other object in the pocket causes it to bulge and become obvious to even casual observation. The boots are bulging. <laughs> nice. Very to comment on the girl's boots are bulging. So, Lens, looks like you've got some cat burglar's boots. Awesome. To go with your shiny shard of awesomeness. They transform into weird bird ankle foot wrap things. <laughs> <laughs> Good old magic items. So we search the... Where, where do they go on my gear? They are magical items wherever you put your magical gear. Uh, all right, so um, Ember is still within the realm of saving if you wish. One rat is merely unconscious. The other one, I think, is probably bled out by now. Mm. I think it was reasonably hurt. Isn't, Natal isn't Natalia supposed to be taking over these people? 
Mm, it was mostly a little bit because she didn't want them coming after her. Right. Oh, okay. I'll stabil you stabilize Ember if nobody stops me. Jail already. Mm hmm? You did yeah. after all put the rest of them in jail already. True. On charge of just being... Yes. We may as well do the same with Amber. Let's stabilize her and take her back unconscious. Yep. Stabilize Ember. Okay. She's stabilized. Mm. Do you take stuff off? Oh. Search the room and stuff her. Okay. So, from Ember... Tangle stuff from bags. Room. 98 Tanglefoot bags. <laughs> One smoke stick. At least 98 Tanglefoot bags. <laughs> One Tanglefoot bag. Okay. You know how many that gives us? So, somewhere down the line, what we need to do is get a big sack and stuff them full of Tanglefoot bags and just get a net filled with Tanglefoot bags just... and have Brunsk throw it at something. <laughs> well, we just, you know, once Masaki can... Learn how to fly proper, then she can oh, yeah. fly over and drop all things. Yeah. Tangle bombs. Okay, what else we got? Uh, studded leather. Uh, uh, hand, uh, hand crossbow with ten bolts. Ah, uh, the standard tower girl outfit. Yes. Short sword. Climber's kit. Grappling hook. Second story, with, second story harness. Grappling hook with fifty foot silk rope. Hooded lantern, oil, second story harness, thieves tools, and 15 gold pieces. Wow. Got it. Uh, on Ayala. Yeah. Thing, do you want to magic this shit just in case Ayala stuff's magical? Yeah, I'll scan over it since I was spellcrafting the boots, anyways. Yes. Ayala has three Tanglefoot bags. <laughs> okay, yeah. Masterwork studded leather. A magical bladed scarf. <laughs> we'll all be using that, I'm sure. A masterwork composite short bow. Masterwork comp short. Yes. Plus one strength composite. This one, yeah. Uh, where is it going here? Do, 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 do. Twenty arrows. Uh huh. Climber's kit, grappling hook with fifty foot silk rope. Yeah. Second story harness. Yeah. Masterwork thieves tools. Masterwork thieves tools. Oh, how appropriate! Lynn, stick the masterwork thieves tools in your yeah. boots. Boot pocket. You may have the masterwork thieves tools, little budgie. Thank you. You're welcome. Gives you plus one to various things, right? Mm -hmm. The plus one disable? Something like that? Mm -hmm. uh, plus two to disable the device. Uh, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, again, there is a sound of wind and waves coming from somewhere in these rooms. <laughs> Search the room! Search the rooms, dude. Search this whole area. Uh... Twenty-one. Oh yeah, go on, Lens. You can do it. All right. Twenty-nine. We find everything. Heaped on a table. Oh, we are heaped. Of wall mural, ancient coins, pieces of jewelry, gems, bits and pieces of pottery, and more. Clearly put together for eventual sale in the markets of Magnamar. Sounds good. We get a sack. We scrape it in. They are worth an appraisable amount. Uh, appraise the amount, dude. Is it just like, what is it, just treasure? Yes. 29. All right. Natural 20. Treasures are worth 900 gold pieces in all. Woo, treasure. 900 gold. Rock on. In addition, under the bed are a small chest mm -hmm. and some journals. Mm. Have to look over those. They might have notes on the door on what they've tried on the door or something. Okay. Look he can he, he can read the journals and Lindsay can do the chest. All right. Do you speak Verasian? Uh 
That's not common by any chance. No, common is chelish. I speak Verasian. <laughs> Guess Lindsay can read the journals. The journals generally are, well, one of them is a more personal one. They kind of show her life. She was one of a dozen were-rats born to an established clan of were-rat Skarsny who dwelled in Riddleport. You know something of this, being from Riddleport. <laughs> in fighting and trenchery, eventually saw the destruction of the clan, and several of the siblings fled to other cities, other rather than be slaughtered by their kin. Um, are you interested in Ayala's history much? I am. But I'm sure, not right I'm I'm sure she was going. bad, and it was a terrible tale of how she got here and was a bitch. Ayala ended up in Magnamar, where she worked for several years as hired muscle for the Wreckwash Blades. Uh. Through a combination of manipulation, seduction, and coercion, she managed to become apprentice to a local cat burglar who taught her many of the finer points of breaking and entering. She repaid him with a knife to the back, leaving his bleeding corpse in the gutter one moonless night. Oh. Since then, Ayala has founded her own female-only gang of cat burglars, calling themselves the Tower Girls. The Tower Girls have thrived under Ayala's hard-nosed leadership. But after a failed attempt to seize power from the Wreckwash Blades, they force Ayala to flee Dockway and go into hiding for a time in Underbridge, where they met with, um, where they were staying um, um, in Bellstore. Right. Uh, the Tower Girls' fortune seems to be growing shaky. The discovery of the chambers within the crow represent a great stroke of luck to Ayala. She hopes to use the treasure she finds within to restore her gang's place in Magnamar's underworld. The apparent betrayal of Natalia has left Ayala in a particularly bitter mood, and she is increasingly turning her plans away from using her newfound resources to restore her gang towards financing a large-scale hunt in Magnamar to track down Natalia and destroy her. Luckily for her, we brought Natalia to her. Yeah, here's Natalia. Stab! That is generally what you see, uh, or what you're able to read. Um, as far as those doors go, um, they generally frustrated her. Um, they obviously can't read Thassalon. They have no idea what the whole glowing thing is about. Um, and simply put, the doors burn. Burn like with fire? Yes. You hold it too long, your hand is burnt. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I've had worse. <laughs> in the chest itself is coins. Hey! While Masaki is reading the journal to herself, you're able to count out the coins, and there is a total of... 40 million gold. 87 gold pieces and 175 silver. Are these... Modern ones or the funky four gold Thessalonian gold? These are cards. modern. Perhaps something of the sales of other artifacts already. So now we just need to solve the puzzle door and... You guys are relatively satisfied when Natalia, right before she's about to leave, says, um, are you going to look in the secret door? Yes. As soon as you pointed out to us. Ah. Right. Sorry, I thought you noticed when you were searching her up. Here. Uh, she moves to the center statue, which you guys thought was some sort of bear rug. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'd hide it, too, if I were a secret, um... if you under my bear rug. <laughs> uh, I don't seem to have a separate picture for it, so just take it from okay. the word that there... There's a room there. There's a room there. Okay. We're in the bear rug. Inside is a corpse! Woo! That's kind of corpse. A skeleton. Stab it. No. Humanoid. Humanoid. Yes. He appears to be wearing a very nice chain shirt. Very nice chain shirt. Decorated rapier. Hang on. It's chain shirt and a what? Decorated rapier. Ooh. Yes. A. Pendant of a songbird. Hmm. There's 50 feet of silk rope and a leather pouch that's rather bulging with coins. Some gold ones have already spilled over the top of it. The remains of the clothes he's wearing look very fine, like very high class stuff. Almost what? nobility, if not royalty. Good condition? 
No, very bad condition. Very, so he's been here a long time. A rather long time, yes. Right. Is, is this like Thessalonian dress or? No, no, it's rather it, modern. It um, it uh, where is it now? It doesn't seem Eurasian. Hmm. Um, goodness, I can't remember the nationality of it. Uh, nope. Nope. Don't know the nationality of this. It's uh, recognizable as one of the Indian based cultures of. Uh, uh, Vudrani. Hmm? Vudrani. Maybe? Maybe. That sounds about right. And uh, detect magic. Yay! The amulet is magical. Woo! I wonder if I have a picture of it. Songbird, magical. Oh, no. Quadrin. Quadrin? Oh, uh, okay, yes. That's the culture that stuff belongs to. I will Ooh. attempt to spellcraft the songbird. All right. Did I make a picture of it? Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Nope, I did not make a picture of it. Dead guy's amulet. So, uh, spellcraft? Yeah, 15. Mm, no. Uh, however, I believe a knowledge check is appropriate, if I recall. Hmm. History? That's where I'm less sucky. What kind of knowledge? I'm going to say local. Lens, you've got that, haven't you? Yeah. Yep. Yes. I'll roll it too, just to back up, just in case. Oh. Masaki got 19? Mm -hmm. All right. You recognize this. Huh. This pendant was once owned by Nazir Kalmaral. Kalmaralm? Yes. Kalmaralm. The first prince of the market in Magnamar's Bazaar of Sales. The father of the current princess of the market, Sabreya Kalmaral. Am I supposed to be able to see something? No. No. I don't have a picture for it. Sorry. What's yeah. she called? Uh, Sabria. She's the one that runs the gang, basically, that makes sure there's no people stealing and unfairly trading in the bazaar. And, so and a good person to be on the sale, side, good side of. Yes. I bet, I bet she'd be dead happy if we told her what happened to her daddy. And maybe <laughs> maybe give her her pendant back. N well, Naz Nazir rather disappeared suddenly after, in 4685... That's roughly 20-ish years ago, 40-ish. Huh. Several years ago. Um, he basically, as far as they know, got together some things, some armor and stuff, and then disappeared. Is this, um, armor, is this chain shirt um, masterwork? It is masterwork, yes. And the rapier as well, right? Yes. Okay. Do local this, legends this say anything about... Room where Natalia found the shard as well. Hmm. Do local legends say anything about what the amulet might do? Besides um, be a... Apparently it made him a very good merchant? It's all like diplomacy and a praise check and hands a... Maybe a charisma mod. Ooh. Uh, uh, is Gary holding the pendant, perhaps? I might have if I was look if I was trying to... Uh, Spellcraft it. Yes, I'm doing this just because it's funny. The amulet tells you what it does. Really? Because one of its effects is an identify spell once per day. <laughs> that gives him a plus 10, doesn't it? Uh, yes. But at that point, it's pretty much you can't fail to identify it. It's not a high caster level. Right. Ah. Identify once per day is nice. Um, the golden pendant it is of Kadea. How do you... Katerin make? Yeah. Crafted from gold, beaten into the image of a lanner... Oh, I suppose it's a falcon, not a songbird. It looks mm. like a songbird. Anyway. 
Lanner Falcon and suspended upon a gold chain. It's a traditional badge of office for the prince or princess of the market in Magnamar's Bazaar of Sales. Although they are often given as rewards to those who are particularly helpful or well liked by the prince or princess. Okay. Beware of the pendant of Soak. The Souk. Souk. It's a Souk. The market. It's the market. The Souk. Souk. Gains a plus five competence bonus on appraise checks. Wow. By holding the pendant to her brow, the wearer gains the effects of an identify spell once per day. Wow. Finally, the pendant grows warm in presence of illusions, Ooh. granting a plus two insight bonus on saving throws made to disbelieve existing illusion effects. It is nice. what every merchant wants who's trying to avoid illusions and buy magic items and whatnot. Nice. Yes. All right. So, unless you have any other questions of her, Natalia says she'll wait by the boats when you're ready to go back. Okay. Um, Masaki. Yeah. Can you concentrate on that shard and figure out whether where we're heading next is through that goddamn silver door? I bet it is. I'll bet it is as well. But let's just check. Yes, I will try. What do I Concentrating do? on the shard. Was there a DC for these? I think it just did. did we didn't think we roll last time? Oh, I think the last time it just did, but we just had vision, or she had a vision. Yeah. I think what is is, okay, this is what it is. Hold on. It is indeed a knowledge geography check. <laughs> oh, does she get a vision of where it is rather than a vision of in what? She doesn't get like a feeling of in which direction from where she currently is. Yeah, you, you, you just see where it is. Oh, I see. So she's not going being pulled towards it. I don't actually have no knowledge geography. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't do what I thought it did. Okay. I'm guessing it's behind this silver door. Yeah. Which, which I'm guessing we'll deal with later. Unless Lockhart wants to give us the description now, and then we can think about it over downtime. Which would be utterly pointless, because as soon as he turns off the recorder, all of you will go... Oh. Yeah, so. uh, I think we'll probably just do experience for now and call the night there. It's a good yeah. plan, Batman. We're exactly at 12 here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. So, do, 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 let me just, I'm just going to quickly check around the area, make sure I'm not cutting you out of any quest XP. Yeah, damn it. Quest XP. But I think I've gotten it all. And that other XP. Yeah, and all that other XP. And the other ones. Right, we better level. I want level three. three. Level three. I'll get another revelation. That'll be nice. I don't know what I get at level three as a monk. I've never really played a monk. So, there is 600 for Carissa. 200 for the two donkey rats she carried out. Is that 200 each? Uh, no. Oh. Total. Another uh, 400 for the trap. Ooh, well done, Lens. 200 for more donkey rats. 200 for Emba. 1,600. 800 for Ayala. 2,400. 800 for completing Natalia's quest. 3,200. Which means... Oh. 1,067 experience for each of you. Is that leveling? One, that's what we got last time, too. What did we get? 1,067. Does that level us? 5,027. Barely. Wow, that was lucky. We're level 3. Huzzah! Woot! Are we leveling faster than this game should, would, would expect? I guess we should um, be, right? This one actually is a very um, high-level first module. I think it goes all the way up to level 5. Wow. So what, it's, a lo it's a long module. Um, well, there's lots well, of monsters in it. There's lots of monsters and experience points in it. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, we've probably got um, some uh, sin whatevers. and. But th this is definitely... Uh, a as opposed to some of the adventure paths, which end at like level 12, this one is probably going to go level 18 or so. Wow, that's cool. That's, I've never, I think I've pushed a character in D&D that far in a very long time. Um, I, I think I get my first martial artist power at, this, at level 3. Ooh, it's level 4, I believe. Oh, you do get the first feat at, uh, or the next feat at yeah. level 3, though. 
just yeah. looking at the end of book five, you're mm -hmm. supposed to be level 16 at the end of book five. You guys will probably be higher because it's just three of you. Yes. So, yeah, you could even be 19, even 20 at the end of the book, depending on how much XP they throw at you. Nice. If we hit 20, the final revelation from lore is you get, like, a wish a day. Wow. That's really good. But you can't wish for stats. Because otherwise you'd just be like, I wish I was stronger. I wish I was stronger. I wish I was stronger. Yeah. Is it like, so it's like a limited wish, but no, it's like a full wish, but you just li with limitations. Yeah. But anyway, so nice. A, that was a pretty decent short session. You got rid of the tower girls completely. Almost three hours. Yeah. Two hours, 50 minutes. I have to say, I think I actually started to find the zen of the character there in the sense that the combat was starting to work. Mm. I think the art for me is not move that often. That is indeed the art of a monk. Well, I think monks are designed to move a lot. I, well, no. Monks, flavor-wise, should move a lot. Design-wise, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm yeah. figuring that. The strength, strength and stuff means I can stand still like a fighter, because I lose my flurry if I move any further than five feet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yes, uh, I need to flurry a lot. Uh, yep. Is it level three when my flurry catches up? I think it totally catches up at level five. Yeah, okay, when it becomes my... what my, It has to become my level at one point, doesn't it, rather than my... Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you get a bonus at level three. Yeah, I think so, three, too. You're minus two right now, I think you turn to minus one. Yeah, which will be... Oh, nice. I'm at minus one at the moment. You guys can level up in the off... Time okay. and just roll hit points when we go next time. It's feet okay. at level three, right? Yep. And I get one more first level spell. Crap. Yeah. It's really mean. I'm gonna have to wait until level six to be able to get weapon specialization. Oh yeah, because you can do that. And I will be doing that because it's good. It is. And then greater yeah. weapon specialization. It, that'll be level 14, won't it? Yeah, it'll or maybe higher, depending on where my feats fall. I don't get the same feats as a, um, a fighter, so I don't get the one at four that becomes weapon specialization. Mm -hmm. I think martial artist is a good good monk bit. Monk I artist. think so. I think it'll work. Anyway, so, anything else? I like that. That was good. We yeah. Need to, we need to play more often. How was it, Linz? <laughs> is it because I didn't have Timmy show up? It's because I woke her up. Oh. It's all your fault, Al. Well, between that and the dog, I mean... Um, yeah, the dog was a bit of a frustration. Ruby was a little stinker tonight. So yeah, she was. Now she's snoozing on my leg. Mm. Yeah, I should go down and join Chris in the snooze chamber. Snooze chamber... Well, that's what we'll use it for tonight. <laughs> Who do we want to play again this weekend? Um, I don't know what we are we doing again this weekend. I don't know, Tiger. You've got the plans. I could be game. Monk level three. My base attack goes up. My fort does not do anything. I get fast movement. Ooh. I get maneuver training and I get still mind, maybe. Let me look down here. I think we're free this weekend. I'm supposed to be going and meeting Simon tomorrow. No. Okay, sweetie. Um, and Jamie's coming over on Friday in the daytime. Okay. But I think I'm free the actual weekend. You okay, Tiger? Mm -hmm. so, so far? Mm hmm. I do actually get a martial artist's thing at third level. Ooh. I get uh, pain points, which allows me for any humanoid anatomy to grant a plus one on critical confirmation rolls and increases the DC of my stunning fist and quivering palm by one. <laughs> nice. Not which terrible. Do hmm? Which day do you want to do? I don't know. Which day do you guys want to do? Okay. It plus it replaces still mind. I was going to say, you, you never use your stunning fist, do you? I've used it a few times, but the problem is it uses all my attacks, and I'm better off no. flurrying unless... 
Does no, it, it doesn't. You can... Oh, yeah, you're right. It does. I only get like one a day, though, don't I? No, I get more than one a day. You get quite a few a day. Yeah, you're right. I get. Did I get quite a few a day? I don't I know how many like... I get. It's an amount. First level, bonus feat. Uh, monk may attempt a stunning fist a number of times per day equal to his monk level. Plus one time per day for every four levels. So at the moment it's twice, now three times a day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Shall we stop recording there then? All I right. guess we should. Bye all. Bye. 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 Bye.